Frank is not happy with Bob right now. <laughs> the phone in the is. flush this room. Is Frank, Frank is. This Frank is not is, a class. <laughs> it's not a what? He's having an issue maybe with that speed of play and Harala Bob over there. Oh, not class, yeah. <laughs> that's a Uh oh. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Big pot energy brewing here. Lock in, guys. I don't. I don't. Do Pocket kings for Frank on the button after he plays that big hand. Yo, viral ace yeah, king suited. Her all about. Uh, Miami and uh, New York. Pocket nines. Miami is super good. Yeah, he's got the smirk as he cuts out the cold four. Like last year, and then uh, lived there during the winter. With New York. Do you know how much you have? Do you know how much you have? What about you? Yeah. 125k effective. Let's see a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar pot here. So where is one plays out? Hundred behind. Hundred plus the bet. Yeah, a runner hundred behind. Thank you. How Shanghai? Good, yeah. Very good. Have you been there? No, I haven't been out that way. The only uh, Asian country I've been to is Thailand. I imagine we're gonna see you viral five bet here. Cool. Yeah, I mean, but I'd love to go out that way. Japan, Thai on my list too. So. Well, he's talking about Shanghai. Oh, Shanghai, Shanghai. But uh, I love Japan too. Best food. Let's go. Okay. What'd you start with? Catch the red eye tonight. Does just call Ace King suited? Probably. Huh? Yeah, behind right, that yeah. epic fold you yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> the poker world talking. Well, Rob Bob's gonna come in as well. It's gonna be a huge pot. Kings yeah. versus nines versus ace king. Eighty thousand dollars in the pot. Two of two of you guys gonna be first. Three players. Rob Bob hoping for a nine. A seven four. Yo viral top pair top kicker. Frank in the bank with the ace magnets. You know what they say, chat. There's always an ace on the flop when you got the king. Look at Frank, he's not looking happy right now. Frank's just like, how is that in the flop? <coughs> Django, you remember Monte Carlo? A guy stiffed us. A guy, on, on your money. You remember him? Yeah, of course I remember him. <laughs> Yo, Viral's going to lead 27,000 into 80,000. Let's see how pocket keeps. you like to play I mean. with him, right? Yeah. Huh? Now he says I don't know him. And now he says he doesn't owe me money. Why? He just says, oh, I don't owe you money. It's like call one street here. I like that strat. 97 or 70,000 behind. <laughs> you're a liar. Right. Everyone knows you're a liar. That's what I said. You know, the same yeah. situation <laughs> happened to me. Huh? A Chinese guy, Shanghai. Shanghai? Shanghai. No, he's from Shanghai. He also did the same thing to me. <laughs> just <laughs> wipe, just wipe the debt. From Shanghai, yeah. <laughs> well, he, 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 he borrowed the money from GRB, and yeah. I guaranteed the money. And he back to Shanghai. He say, "Do do you have proof I owe you money? Do you have any witness? If you if you say I owe you money, I'll go press charge you." <laughs> the viral taking his time before this yeah, deep yeah. breaths. Little bit faster. This guy didn't say that. He just Goodness, that's serious. Uh, Frank, Frank the bank. I'll oh, check in. Play faster. What is going on? Yeah, that, that's good speed. Frank bets ten thousand. Snap bets. Yo, viral check jams all in. Frank Pocket Kings, 2% equity, one king left in the deck. Can he get away and save 60,000 here? He's not going to do it, he calls. Frank the bank calling it off. 273k pop, Happy. Frank is going to need help here. The king of spades, or he's going to lose a $273,000 pop. Cannot scoop. Can only win half. Kings, Ah, kings. It doesn't have longevity. They're going to run it twice. I believe so. They did agree before showing it down. Oh, wow. That's great news for Yo. He knows he, he just can't lose this pop. Gonna win at least half. 
Here, Frank the Bank can oh. convert the old one outer. No dice. First $250,000 part of the day going to Yo Viral. And wow, Frank's got to be maybe regretting that turn bet a little bit, the 10000 Induced the check raise. I mean, could have just checked it back, saw the river, but he did go for it. And uh, took a chance, unfortunately. He's got a rebuy here. Yo Viral, nice hand for him. Big pot goes his way, and Frank... <laughs> Got a little work to do to make that up. Yo, you're Buys not in too for chatty, another hundred thousand, therefore, of the brown chips. Who wants fifty bucks? I'm not joking. Deposit one dollar and you get a fifty dollar global spin ticket instantly at WPT Global. With this ticket, you could spin and win up to three hundred thousand dollars. Imagine what you could do with three hundred thousand dollars right now. So. Go find a dollar in your couch or somewhere and sign up. Click the link in the YouTube description. Sign up to WPT Global with bonus code SPIN50 and deposit $1. But hurry, it's only for the first 100 people. I hate this. Cool. No, thanks. <clears throat> Rob, really, really having issue with Is the cards. Or 1, the past couple oh, days here, been in a battle with the cards. Can't seem to pick them up. Yeah, signs of a what do, what do we got here? A family pot. A little, little, little bomb pot. Limped family pot. A couple of gut shots for the wheel. We started. Bank just snapped leading out of his top pair. Yo, not going to go anywhere yeah. just yet. Yeah. Bob, have you won a sing single pot? Yeah, I won two. So I'm the only one having to win a single pot, right? Still standing around. No Zang yeah. trying to moan it in after winning the standing. lot last he night. He won the pot of last night, the last one. It's like almost today, you know, like. Oh, case four. Say it's Frank part turning of the two pair. Transition. That's pretty lucky. I, I, you had I, like I, saw, I saw you the aces. I bet like 60k you got. That's super lucky. You're thinking that. I'm thinking if I. But you were check unlucky. Raise, flop small, you would have happened. How much? More interesting. I make it like 155 on the flop. Hold. Hold. That's why I bet. I would have been upset at the time that I raised and happy now. Actually, I would have never known. I would have thought I've, I've played it bad. So. That's why I'm, I'm the man I counting out like some raising chips here. You over. You're calling with jacks, raising with kings and aces. Or a 10. And he does make the check raise, turn in his four into a bluff. But you could have raised, and I could have convinced. Once you did it, I could have now convinced myself. Mm -hmm. Represent the three <laughs> five. I right, got it all in, and you just. 36? Yeah. I guess we would have gotten twice, most likely, but I might have won the next one. Too. You want to run twice, we would have ran it twice. Yeah. I wouldn't have cared either way. Remember, this was a limp pot, so Jungle Man really could have anything in the small blind, just putting in. Small, I mean, he was already in for the five, so he didn't even put any more money in. It was big. Could have three five. Like he went all in and lost. No, no, no. Would have been a big pot if we got all in. Yeah, big pot. Comes deuce. Last night, deuce four seven flop, but you, we probably do get all in some point. It keeps friendly board for you. I mean, yeah, I'll probably just bet, bet, bet. Bet, bet, bet. Hard for me to fold. I probably would have folded. Some point. You're not fucking ref. Well, the last hand of the night makes a different dynamic. Why? Irrelevant. Frank playing slightly deeper than 88k as well Obviously here. Just to note, looks like he's playing around 200k. So Jungle Man really leveraging his entire stack here. Asking Frank if he's ready to play a 400k pot. Joey already mentioned. Jungle can definitely have. Yeah, five three suited here. Yeah, he knows Frank's not limping. Three five suited under the gun, or three five under the gun. So Frank does call. Let's see if Jungle's gonna fire the river on a blank. Yeah, ninety two k in the middle. Hooks. Jungle the effective stack, I believe. Just gives up. Much behind. 
Waves the white flag. Pretty quick check on the river. Frank asking how much he's playing. Around 1.30. One thirty or something. Hmm? One twenty something, right? Like. Something like that. Yeah, for juice. The classic name hands that you can beat. Yeah, it could be a hand jungle might check raise within a turn. It, it would specifically like have to be uh, four deuce uh, clubs, and like we have the four like clubs in our hand. You don't like poker? I don't. Even if you only played a we little bit? We actually was in for free, so he could have four deuce offsuit here, yeah, like potentially. I mean, I don't know if he would check all the flops. No, no, I mean, on the, yeah, that's what I mean, on the flop. Yeah, like, four yoke clubs on the right, bottom. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, just felt uh, good board. Hurtson's the guy. He was, he was the guy. I enjoyed playing with him. Table top guy, you know? Mm -hmm. He was quiet yesterday, though. You win. He talks in the middle of hand. I have a pair of fours. Turn it over, you're first. Oh, just a little four. Okay. You want to talk about Did you order? say uh, jungle? I didn't see. Three four, yeah, three four. Oh, you say three I four? I'm not the best player in the he world. He didn't say anything. He did a pair of fours, but I saw he had three four. Nice play by Frank. Okay, Picks up you. a $92,000 pot. He's first to show, so he should show. Fucking queen, queen five, five, you know? Yeah. 46 when he got it done. Queen five. Well, yeah, but five, let yeah. me figure yeah. out the sizing. Okay. Is that the proper? Is that the GTO sizing for? I like that he went and got a scarf. I never solved the standard game, and I think that's why I introduced the standard game because I wanted those pros to be like completely lost. So you invented the standard game? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. I introduced it in in my games, but I I didn't invent it. It's a bad thing. French game. It's a blah No, it came during COVID because of the plexiglass. Oh, just the main reason because like people couldn't see each other from across the table. How sick do you have to be to go play poker with plexiglass? Played one session. No, I played a lot. It's so funny. Like three hours, and I kept like asking someone a question. They're like, "What?" And just left. No. Plus, the plexiglass isn't going to stop anything. No, no, it's not. Maybe if you walked around and everyone was in plexiglass. How much is the bet? <laughs> Five. Listen, Bob, people want to play poker, yeah, right? Let, let us play. Okay, your sound is coming. We don't all have the no, beachfront no, home to okay, chill okay, out, relax, right. with our great dog. It's cold hearted enough. Some of us got to go grind to the at the yeah, Venetian with the plexiglass up. I, bet I enjoy the plexiglass because yeah. there are no, no weird okay. touchings from okay, old men. Okay, two K. Can't. They you know, what do you mean? They, they, they do it. Oh like my god, you have to. Yeah. You need more female yeah. friends. Yeah, those pick, oh, it's on you. And I'm like, stop it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they don't do that to me. No. I think it's the mustache that dissuades them. My old one, yeah. True. <laughs> so the two stand up boys are here battling it out. KBM, top and bottom. Aaron, second pair, but straight draws all miss here. So might be calling a little bit wider than normal here. See Schwan Lu in the chat in the background talking with you. Schwan looking great in that leather jacket. She's been playing a lot of cash games lately on stream. Yeah. So here we go, Aaron. Waiting for you, Frank. Big bet. I mean, Whoa. 30k pot size bet, and Aaron calls pretty Still quick. Waiting for you, Frank. Go to the river. I mean, this could be a massive pot. River's a nine. Nobody's loving that card. Let's end up game. Uh... Queen Jack gets there, backdoor like the spades get there. The concept. Yeah, yeah, he I didn't mean. really get to enjoy it. He just got queens. No, but yeah. maybe he liked now what he's seen. I mean, I did get queens, but I'm a little bit, uh, bit it's bittersweet, you know? It's, it's you know, I, I would have liked to get a call. You're supposed the queen. to have a lot of action usually. When you have a queens, you're supposed to, to be. Uh, oh, so I ran bad with you the ran, queen. You ran bad, yeah. yeah. Down bets 25,000. Now, no, Aaron might, might think Aaron. about Aaron. turning his hand into a bluff, uh, maybe occasionally, 10 dues. Yeah. So it's a Frank, your 1k are here, very close. But my guy Aaron never said his last word. Call. Just calls. We call. Mm. He said a volume, right? Is it all in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I thought he said yeah, yeah. Keep your I thought he said call as well. Just keep your cards. It doesn't matter. He put it a chip in. It he doesn't put matter. A you keep your card yeah. and you can have a decision yeah. now. You can either call or fold. Yeah, everybody. But I didn't hear that either. I know, I'm sorry. Everybody, everybody heard that. Didn't correct me. Yeah, sorry. you can still make a decision. Thought, everybody I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Yep. If everybody heard it, you can still make a decision. 
Yeah. Your options are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the options are. Doesn't change it. But they're gonna probably roll that no. yeah. yeah. I thought he said. No, no, no. You shouldn't throw in one chip. And if he wants them. to call the floor, he no, can. But actually, it's totally. If you say that. I get the same. I think in other places, in casino, if you say that. I didn't hear him say that. Yeah. I heard it. Oh, the dealer said call. That's not exactly what it is. That's scandalous. Right. He, he should, you can check it on the video. He, he bet 25,000. Yeah, okay. He said all in and threw the chip in. But she didn't hear, but she didn't hear, she didn't hear all in. Give him the little red thing just to clear it up. Put this back, we don't need this. This is what we want, right here. Man. What's the count at least? Just a fucking... So he's going to be all in for 125,000 more. Yeah, you go to the toilet. Frank. Is there a world in which KBM actually folds his no, hand no. in the stand-up <laughs> game? <laughs> I just uh, very happy. Never saw. Can the, can the <laughs> you don't need to. You <laughs> don't. Very happy well, now you don't. Oh, Guys, the, stop it. They're counting the pot. Yeah, you can't do that. I know. That's why. <laughs> Does it need to throw it to me? Yeah, I don't think Aaron did anything out of line there, so. He seems like he intended to go all in there, just some miscommunication. The dealer said call. 99,500. What? 99,500 more. What are you saying? If I play his hand, I'm pushed all Total. Total. So this be our biggest pot of the night if KBM can find the hero call here. 99.5. It's so tough Doesn't when you make a block size bet and get jammed on. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think Aaron knows he wouldn't bet that. Bit. Would he bet that small if he had a flush? Probably not. Would he bet that small if he had a set? Probably not. Okay. He does call. Good, wow. Good call, man. Great call. Oh, Monks, you get your 1K. Wow. $342,000 pot KBM. Hero calls the river with that king seven two pair. Aaron Zhang went for it with the ten deuce. Does not pay off. The biggest pot of the night goes to keyboard monkey. Reed. Who wants fifty bucks? I'm not joking. Deposit one dollar and you get a fifty dollar global spin ticket instantly at WPT Global. With this ticket, you could spin and win up to three hundred thousand dollars. Imagine what you could do with three hundred thousand dollars right now. So go find a dollar in your couch or somewhere and sign up. Click the link in the YouTube description. Sign up to WPT Global with bonus code SPIN50 and deposit $1. But hurry, it's only for the first 100 people. Although when they do raise the ace of diamonds in that spot and then you come back over the top, it's obviously... Are you the button? Yeah, I did go yeah but there. you've already got... So You've already achieved having them put in two bets, which is a pretty big win in and of itself, and you can find that third bet sometimes if your opponent's not buying it. Or they maybe they have like ace-jack with the ace of diamonds, and Ooh. now they're blocking boats or something. Sorry, Aaron. That's grim, yeah. But check raise is nice because when you have the board so locked up like that, your opponent's likely more likely to have a diamond or something like just a five. Especially when you bet so small in the turn, and maybe they turn a five into a bluff. That's it, right? That was just kind of what I was thinking. Small is really nice too, though. Nothing in the medium range makes sense to me. No. When you have a hand like queen jack. Not on that ball texture, no. Yeah. A very intricate part of the game tree, right? Yeah, four flush, paired board, you know, yeah, it's not yeah. something you get, it's a very nuanced spot that you don't get to study that often. This is <laughs> this is what I like because I'm not uh, I'm not in the sims all day, Yeah. so I like getting these spots where I can just kind of expect that my opponent's also not figured out ahead of time, and maybe I figure it out on the fly a little bit better than that. If that makes sense. One of your strong suits, so I would assume, based off of the limited knowledge I have of, of you and the games that you play, would be figuring stuff out on the fly. Yeah, I definitely like that. I like if I can air towards, you know, if it's very close between a jam and a call preflop, for instance, maybe I'll call and 
have slightly more difficult decisions in the, <laughs> yeah, in the future, evolved. but you know that that's true for both of us. So. Ben can teach us how to play pocket jacks. Finally, we've been looking for the answer to this question for years. How do you play jacks? Ben Lamb <laughs> facing a 24x open from Aaron in the cutoff. Not a spot. You find yourself in that often? No. I have oh. I have noticed we, in we the stand-up game. Although Aaron's sitting, right? Um, <laughs> has he won a hand in the stand-up game? I don't no. think he has. It's always difficult to tell because sometimes they use keys. <laughs> They're using keys Aaron's at the moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I would assume, based on his size, that Aaron's still standing. Wow. I have noticed, and I, I have a very small number of these hands that I've seen, but the the big size is quite often a weak hand and not. Something super strong. <laughs> yeah, the tank. I probably need a euro to save China. <laughs> the big oh. Facing the jam. Yeah, I, I guess Ben's still standing too, right? So. All right, Yo seven thinks. seven deuce game. Yeah. I don't think Ben is still standing because he won the. F I think he won the first hand at the seven deuce game. Uh, sorry, the the stand up game. Okay, I thought when he peeled the nine three off, that was. That meant that he was still standing, but maybe he was just getting a really good price. Or you might be right, actually. Yeah, he won the flip. I don't know if that counted. What was the flip? The flip. They did a they did a 10k PLO flip oh, okay, at the start. Okay. I bet that didn't count just because. It, I mean, it could have. I don't. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. But. Artist. Yo, seriously considering this here, like this doesn't feel like posturing. The rest of the night, yeah. The money for artists. Yeah, I think we need another round. It's really hard to play with artists. Yeah, yeah, the rest good is day, just huh? nonsense. It's, it's up around yeah, 300 on the night, yeah. What? We don't have to stop at nine. We don't He's want likely to be said. down yeah. or up a lot less than that if he decides to put it in here. This feels a little light. Maybe if he wants to get in there. Yeah. Something like ace ten. No ace five suited, ace four suited, like have thirty percent against, you know, kings, queens. Yeah. Jacks, tens, those types of things. Even against like ace king. Ace eight oh is just like so dead to rights against mm -hmm. Well I don't know what I did to offend you, Bob. I don't know what your problem is. So I'm not person, not because I'm Call you Bob because instead of I didn't five. want the X from game. So I just stand back. Mm -hmm. back. Jungle saying, I don't know what I did to offend you, Bob. Oh, may maybe you're right. Maybe maybe Jungle did offend Bob. I always feel like Bob's just no, no, this one. so intrigued just with Jungle, else, man. <laughs> he legitimately finds him very interesting. I'm still distraught over I mean, Jungle is. Is that what you do to people at funerals? It is very interesting. Tap. Yeah. <laughs> Oh sure. wow! Wow! He's doing it. Yo wow, makes the call. That is, call. Just that is wild. <laughs> Still had Aaron behind <laughs> to worry about. And this is but, uh, that the I actual disaster. Ben before, has this a one pair that's above the eight, weird. and there's an ace dead. Just the and the this is the worst case days. scenario, essentially. <laughs> going it actually is the worst case scenario because if Ben had aces, I highly doubt he would have just jammed. So, Ooh, Ben, five cards away from winning the biggest part of the night, 475,000. Once Aaron gets out of the way with his ace-7. Does eventually make the fold. What have checks? What on earth? What? Oh my god. That was the worst uh, call I've ever seen in my life. What? <laughs> Zero invested in the uh, uh, Wow, Bob uh, with the yeah. snap needle with half a million in there. It can show, Ben. Come yeah. on, Bob. Don't it sugarcoat it. it. Tell him how you shoot. really feel. Yeah, yeah, you you fold it, right? Yeah, you both no. don't, don't, don't care, right? No. I don't care about it. A7. 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 I mean, what, what the fuck is Twice. this? Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you are right, by the way. You're right. I have two call. He's SK, right? His equity is slightly off. I've been a jack. Oh, wow. Yo, now drawing. Drawing dead on the turn. I assume that they are running it twice. But Ben gets to sit down now because Kills first board. Yeah. Kills one of his eights as well. Yeah. You're doing it twice? 
Yeah. Otherwise, that was, I, that was I, not. I uh, the club. That was not what you should be saying. That was not the. Or. That was not the thing to say. Thanks. Wow. So Ben, clean run out on both boards. That is <laughs> massive for Ben. 500k par out of nowhere. Ben's in this game for 150, right? I believe. I believe so. Yeah. Might have even been in for 100 today. I know he was in for 150 yesterday. Wow. Ben, you're so lucky. Like, what do people think? Yeah, yeah, it's just, you just, like, you just, you just had a time. Just the like, time. By the way, this ben, is like the minimum. Ben, I see the skill. Ben, I see the skill. Like, uh, I know that they just. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The breathing stuff is, is, looks pretty good, though. Uh, I wouldn't, like, t t take fucking. 45 minutes a day to do it if I didn't think it was good. Almost every day. Are we sure the blinds are right? Yeah. yeah. It is crazy how much breathing affects the rest of your body and your day. Mm. That was something that I knew very little about. And a couple of years ago, I got diagnosed with asthma, so I started to learn a lot more about breathing. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. That, that developed later on in life, or you always had it but didn't know that you had it? I think it got worse later on in life, but looking back, I was I realized it should have been more obvious that I had it. Right, okay. Like, I would play sports, and I would be the one kind of ga like on the ground gasping for air. and I just thought that I had worse cardio than everyone else, you know? You beat me in the hand. Big spot here. Bob's going to peel. Certainly not missing opportunity to potentially win a huge pot off of his... Yeah, 20k in the middle. Queen high or 10 high? Wow! Oh my goodness. Just oh drills my goodness. the nuts. Jack, 9-8, rainbow. How happy is Bob in this moment? I mean, he's doing backflips in his head, <laughs> but truth be told, we are insanely deep here. I mean, SPR of, what, 13. And it's a board texture as well where I don't think Yo's going to lose. Heaps on, but there is that rivalry. We've been talking about it all day. The needling, the constant back and forth between these two. Mm -hmm. There's ever a time for Yo to just lose six figures in this spot. It would be against this man. But Bob can have eights, nines, jacks, jack nine, eight, nine, queen ten, ten, seven. Mm -hmm. See what happens on a brick turn. He's just going to call. I'm a fan of this. He's in position. I think uh, playing just calls here could be very good. That and it's a brick turn. We're probably going to see Yo slow down here, especially when he has the king of spades. Um, now, he, he could just lead three times and, and kind of try to control the size of the pot and get as much value as possible. But kings with the king of spades is, is a nice one to slow down with. Bob gonna be out of the hole after this one. Okay, he's gonna go with three. Probably not massive size bets. <coughs> Looks like just north of half pot. the joint facing a double barrel from his opponent does he want to try and bump it up here set up has something on on the river get to play for stacks feels really really difficult at this SPR right yeah it's you also have this sort of I don't know how much people care about this, but this issue where there's kind of this thing where the pot gets to a certain size and people just don't seem to be bluffing. And so I think Bob will probably raise here. Oh, maybe he's just going to call. Nice. Nice. Um, I think when he raises, it will get a lot of credit. 124K in the middle. 
Backdoor spades getting there. Yo with the king of spades in hand. Also, our four liner on board. I think if I'm Yo here, I'm just going to block. You going like 15%, like 18k, or? I was thinking like 25, or like, like 30k, 35k, something like that, 40k. Um, Bob called fairly quickly and in rhythm. I wouldn't be surprised if he has like a lot of ace jack type of hands here. Queen jack is a really good candidate. Nine ten. Hundred and twenty four thousand in the middle. This is the rivalry that poker's needed for quite some time between Yo Viral and Bob. It's been a night of verbal jousting and <laughs> Yeah, this is, I mean this is just a wild flop for these two. By the way, your your choice of size could very well be better than mine. Um Yeah, certainly not a voice of authority myself when it comes to these spots or these stakes. But kings with a king of spades feels like a small sizing spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, he's going. I think oh, I thought that he was looks like right. 32. Oh. 37. Okay. <laughs> is this the old from anyone from anyone else I would think that this is like this is the mannerisms of a person who's about to just call with a really strong hand but sure. surely he's going to raise with a hand of the strength like that if Yo had a flush can't be expected to go this small too often. Not 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 saying that he's not capable of it or it's not good, but this is a very nitty call. Wow. I call. Wow. Very nitty. Very nitty. I call. Go. Very nitty. Yeah, very nitty call cool announced. 198k wow. part going Bob's way. Yo, after being one of the biggest winners of the night, very early on, now finds himself down 17,000 on the night, and Bob has dug himself out of the hole. Yeah, there it is. All of fire. On average. I really depend. It's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Savage is still making uh, residuals off of Lucky You. <laughs> How sick is that? <laughs> Great story with Valerie. She attended the Doyle Brunson book signing. One of the promos that the World Poker Tour ran. And inside yeah, the decision. copy of that book, was a why, seat why into so this forceful? event. That is like how she is here there. with us it's it's today. Far. You can just place it. Oh God, here he comes. Oh my God, <laughs> Rainbow now Mike. And here comes Rainbow Mike. Oh the, this time decided to just call the queen Mike's three. three. Me with like queen four, Suited. king five. After he knocked his chips now over, he's he got definitely like can't aces. He probably has aces. Honestly, it's probably aces. I'm terrified. Oh. Less than 300 oh, from the money. Brent did not think we'd be saying that halfway through day two. Dropping like flies out there. Mm. Could see Matthew's one more drop on nice. certain board textures here. <laughs> Mike doesn't want to see withdrawals. clubs, that's for sure. <laughs> Caffeine withdrawals. No broccoli dealer. Or the THC Ooh, levels might not be good. Yeah. Well, there comes that broccoli. Arden, what a oh, yeah, spot with the nut flush draw. Yeah. Is this Up the against fun action, the Rainbow <laughs> Mike. Um, you imagine that Matt too. will be yeah. bowing out of the way with those two sevens in just a moment. Like better than our table? What does Mike do? Does he go bananas here? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> oh, looks like he's reaching for just here. calling chips. I love that. Um, Newport Beach now. Play the rest of the hand. I we, you well, playing the entire hand in position. Uh, Didn't apologize. Above, like, uh, Sunset Park. Uh, Fortunately for Mike, does 
Brick off on the turn, 109 in the middle, and maybe now a door for Mike to win the pot. Arden checking it over to Mike. <laughs> Yeah. You're probably well aware that Queen High is currently not the best hand and well. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Brent, 109 in the middle. Is Mike going broke here? 338 behind. Well, assuming that Arden is going to size this thing up, I, I don't see a world in which Mike doesn't go broke. Uh, if he finds just a call uh, here, nice I'd be shocked. Nice Look at the sizing, 45. Every jury, every jury. Mike's going to want to eke out value out. in his mind. Two on two. I went to the oh, geez. <laughs> Less than half pot bet on okay. the river from Arden with the nut yeah. flush. Importantly, king of clubs. Oh, on my. Board. Is he just going to call? Worried about potentially a full house <laughs> as played. Or that bigger flush. Boy, I'll be shocked. There it is. Here it comes. Looks like 150. I saw a bunch of teeth out there, like, in the hallway. Yeah. See how Arden responds here. Is a paired board. Does just flick in the one chip call, and Mike value earning himself a little bit there. I can't say I blame him though. Did you owe me a luck box? Second nut flush. Who wants 50 bucks? I'm not joking. Deposit $1 and you get a $50 global spin ticket instantly at WPT Global. With this ticket, you could spin and win up to $300,000. Imagine what you could do with $300,000 right now. So, Go find a dollar in your couch or somewhere and sign up. Click the link in the YouTube description. Sign up to WPT Global with bonus code SPIN50 and deposit $1. But hurry, it's only for the first 100 people. Thank you. Please get him. Oh. Uh, Might be hard to get tickets, but you should. That's the what, show. What, January? I feel like January, if there's ever a time to go to shows, is You'd be surprised, man. That really? one sells out. It's not a huge venue. It's an intricate environment. Go to Absinthe. That is the one. And you can, uh, I'd like a full report. Water. Let me know what you think. I, you I will water. do, mate. You know. Got your number. Oh my gosh. I'll give you some Does feedback. Do I have to become friends now? Nope. Thank you. Rainbow Mike taking it upstairs. 90,000 to go. And this could work. I mean, Paul's being put to the test for his entire stack, as is Jason. Does Arden really want to play the rest of this hand out of position against an aggressive opponent? 550,000 effective. We'll see. Paul with the ace-10 suited. See if he just wants to run this. Added dead money in the middle. Cool. Just going to come with cool, Brent. Uh, essentially putting in half his stack. Hoping to get lucky. Now Jason, does he think, oh boy, Queen Jack suited. Do I ever want to splash around? One of the 250,000 ships already in the middle. Arden just hoping no one else raises. She definitely wants to see a flop with two sevens. Now... She will have that opportunity. Yeah. It does get really awkward. I mean, already 2-5-6 in the middle pool with 115 behind. But as we already mentioned, 560,000 effective against Rainbow Mike. She can spike a 7, potentially win a huge pot. She did say she's gunning for him. She I believe her. She said before break, this means war. So 3 2 4 in the middle. Mike with the best of it pre. And still with the best of it on the Queen 5. There's a little s slow roll there from the dealer. A little sweat ski. This stack to pot ratio. So awkward. For Michael, though, there is only one over card <laughs> to his pocket eights. Look at Arden just staring directly at Mike. A little gulp there. She knows what's about to happen. I mean, Mike's going to bet again on this texture. Queen 2 is 5, Rainbow. Big up the Rainbow Mike. I feel like Arden maybe got some some coaching on break, Brent. She's gone quiet, taking it very seriously now. Soft bubble, 200 off the money. 
has a great stack to really abuse the bubble situation at play. I think she's been taking it pretty serious all along, but just you know, very chatty. Uh, perhaps the one thing that's changed is this exact dynamic, having Mike directly to her left, who is going to apply a ton of pressure and put her in these difficult spots. 574,000 in the middle. SPR around 0.6. Undercard pairing to Arden Sevens. And this is, again, the sort of situation where if I am in Mike's seat, I am petrified of that five. I'm already concerned about a queen. Now I, could, now I think Arden could have a hand like 4-5 suited, 6-5 suited. Yeah. Why, you, why not ace five yeah, suited? Yeah, ace five right? suited I mean, there's as well. There's plenty yeah. of fives that Arden can have here, but look at Mike. He just doesn't care. Yeah, he is going for the double barrel. 125K again, really milking this one. Uh, if she does it, I, I mean, this could work. Again, what would Arden have? Looks like a lot of queens and a lot of fives. Oh, she's come for the check raise to 275,000. Yeah on this five of clubs turn and Brent there's 974,000 in the middle Mike's got 220k behind it's again he's got to be sick thinking okay well it looks like a five maybe it's a queen could she ever be bluffing for her to have exactly sevens is just remarkable this looks like it might work given his body language There ever a world where she set the trap pre with aces, multi way Whoa. gets the better hand oh to fold. God, I can't wait to see this I Arden this. up to 1.6 million. Rainbow Mike may be going to kick himself when he watches that one back. Could have checked turn. Entire <laughs> vibe. We're now going to play. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have you feel better about yourself. I disagree. Rainbow. I disagree with Rainbow. that. Rainbow, you're having fun too. When Rainbow Mike's winning is fun. You? Not yeah, it's not so much fun. Oh, this is ridiculous. Terrible. Worse. Thinks of three outer on the river. Yeah, seriously. It's Arden under the gun plus the two. I had Couple more, of jacks, I had more 18, outs than three Valerie. Wow, you had oh. the Very beautiful starting and King 10 suited. Yeah, open, awkward open stack open size for Valerie. Up here open is it the moment? It is. On the turn. <laughs> so you had king six? I had king deuce. Uh, There's three, four, five. Here we go, Valerie. Um, what a story. Winning the golden ticket and all in at oh, risk against Arden Cho, world right. famous sure. actress. Let's oh, see I'm a flop finished. turn in so river, really shall we, out. Henry? Please put a king out there. Any wow. golden <laughs> ticket winners, <laughs> Conrad <laughs> pulling for the king. You know what, Brent? We're meant to remain impartial in the booth, but no, would love like, to see I Valerie's want a king journey. On this flop. I want a winner for Valerie. Here we go. Whoa, Ooh, we a little, sweat. little sweat ski. Come on, heart. <laughs> heart or a king needed for Valerie to keep the dream alive. One more chance. It's more fun on the river, Valerie. Let's do it. Uh, no dice. We lose five. our golden ticket winner. I was playing with you. Arden. <laughs> Sorry, I really wish it was one of these guys. <laughs> with the KO. <laughs> I do too. James, I believe, just realized the action is on him under the gun. <laughs> Been there, done that. Uh huh. Got Venture WD in the Twitch chat saying, is this this week's WPT? It is indeed day two coverage live from the win in Las Vegas. WPT World Championship 10K buy-in, 15 mil guaranteed, which in case you hadn't heard, managed to collect a little bit more than the 15 million. Almost two axed, two, two axed, two axed it. 29 million collected over 4 million for first. So we jump back into another squeeze spot potential. Apparently just going to come with cool. 
Note the ranges involved under the gun and plus two. Also nice to have you know, some strong hands like Ace Queen in our flatting range. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not the first time today. It's been the broccolis every time as well. We've had a flush on flush situation. Anthony defending his big blind with the 7 5 of clubs. Elliot just flat calling the ace queen, flopping the nut flush draw on the king 7 4. James going to fire into the field with the queen jack. This one's not going to work. Elliot just going to flat. Action back on the big blind. 198,000 in the middle. It does just come with check jam. Going to get through the under the gun range, which is probably the range he's most concerned about. Elliot with the snap call. 814,000 chip pot, Brent. If Elliot can get there in the form of an ace, queen, or a club, it's going to be one of the tournament chip leaders. 70 off the money. Minor hearts on the turn changes nothing. Neither does that. The brickest of bricks, Brent. Mm -hmm. Deuce of diamonds. <clears throat> Little Dewey. 814k apart for Anthony. You guys just won't let me go home, will you, Brent? Got to be here in April now. Well, buddy. It's the World Poker Tour, man. They're going to be going across the globe. You know, I've never been to Choctaw, and I know you certainly probably have not. Oh, no, I've been there many times. It's one of my favorite favorite places in America. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so, sounds like it, at least. Yeah. I could see you really loving the I couldn't the even. If you, if, you, if you gave me the map of America, I wouldn't even be able to. The Oklahoma-Texas border. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Texas is its own country. So Oklahoma, you know, where Choctaw is, that's it's right there on the border. Very nice. I always forget just how big this country is. I was speaking to some <laughs> friends the other day that flew here from Austin, Texas. Two and a half hour flight. That's like the same as flying from London to Madrid, back home in Europe. Now that's a short flight in my books. but That's short for yeah, you guys, yeah, yeah. for sure, yeah. But right. we, you can get like halfway across that's Europe that's in that time. Jumping back into this, James. Your planes must be faster. <laughs> Electing the three bet. The nines may be. Have to, I was going to say have to Google it, but let's be honest. Who uses Google anymore in December of 2022? It's all about the chat. GPT hype. I literally asked a friend of mine today, what are the best breakfast spots in Vegas? And if he could Google it for me, and he sent me a screen recording of him asking chat GPT instead. What has the world become? All in. Jared's going to move all in for 246,000 and James has kind of dug himself a hole here. Going to have to flip for it. Does have Jared covered and is still going to have a healthy stack should he lose this flip. Thank you. Wanted to just fit out the field and take this heads up. Also, you know, Three bet squeezing from the big. Sometimes just gets two folds, takes it down pre. King seven five, no help for the ace queen of Jared. And well, Jack of Spades on the turn. Gives him four more outs, 10 outs once. Whereas Jared's going to be out just shy of the money as the seven of clubs Again. seals his fate. Brent James up to 868,000. We're down to the final 440 players here. Heard them talking about people getting hyped about this event in Sacramento. I was mentioning earlier on the FOMO from a lot of people in Europe and Asia regretting 
not getting on a flight to Vegas. And I, I think there are a few people still left in the field that saw the Instagram stories and the tweets on day 1A, flew from Europe on day 1B to jump into day 1C. I have friends. I, oh, I believe it. Yeah, yeah, you've got buddies that did it. Yeah, from yeah. London. Everybody they're just like, no, I can't. I can't miss this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm never missing it again. I refuse, Henry. So we're not doing commentary together next year. Is what I, we're I could easily bust on day one. I'd True. be right back for. It wouldn't surprise me. Day two. Yeah. That's sort of my calling card. Might join you on that one. Might join you gonna you. play? Yeah, we might just donate. next year. You're gonna have to dip your toes in the water. Donate 10k to the cause. How about this? Chill, limping in from the small. Anthony waking up with a legit squeeze from the big and well. 53 off the money. Jill is going to need some help from the deck, Brent. 462 in the middle. Diamonds are working for her. Obviously, the three immediate outs needs to find a Barry. King, nine, deuce, two diamonds. Running diamonds would also keep her around. Now finds herself drawing to three outs once for a tournament life. On the bubble. No dice, Brent. Jack of clubs is going to seal Jill's fate here. Thank you. Valiant Thank you. effort. Thank you. Certainly and was. And that was a, a cooler scenario there. Blind versus blind for Jill. Another qualifier here. Who wants 50 bucks? I'm not joking. Deposit $1 and you get a $50 global spin ticket instantly at WPT Global. With this ticket, you could spin and win up to $300,000. Imagine what you could do with $300,000 right now. So go find a dollar in your couch or somewhere and sign up. Click the link in the YouTube description. Sign up to WPT Global with bonus code SPIN50 and deposit $1. But hurry, it's only for the first 100 people. Do it once more. Queen four off. He does. Every single pot. Open. Last hand announced, ladies and gentlemen. See State Kings in the chat. Say good luck to everyone with a piece of Espen on State Kings. Okay. Oh, well, how about that? Espen. There we so go. A little taste over there. A little, little temple, I believe. Yeah. Little piece for the fans. That was a lot of fun. I'm going over here and donating blind, not playing your hand. <laughs> Exciting, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. How is this the flop? Alex just trying to pick up all these small pots into the bubble on this bubble and and Top and bottom as the case four comes home for Elliot. How about this for a final hand of the night, Brent? Final hand of day two, the WPT World Championships. If a brick rolls off, ayah. Ace of diamonds on the turn. Is it cool if I open the box as soon as his hand's over? Looking for a little nine of clubs there for max entertainment value. Are you buying them? No. Alex still going to lose chips in this one, I'd assume, Brent. He is. The question is, does he continue to bet or sort of respect the diamond and that ace on the turn and look to just check call? Genuinely questioning if Elliot can have ace queen in his range. Certainly could have plenty of flushes. <laughs> and he is sizing this up. 150 to go. One fifty to go. They're just gonna call. 
530,000 in the middle. Boats up on the river just in case he was concerned. Alex had got there on the turn in the form of a flush. And unfortunately for Elliot, Alex has actually been counterfeit on this Fiber Clubs River as well. This very likely will save Alex from losing any more chips. It's going to be very hard for Elliot to show up with any bluffs. Five hundred and thirty in the middle. Great point, by the way, Brent. Really tough to call flop. Sizable C bet on the flop as well. Half pot, half pot on the turn. I'm trying to think of of natural bluffs. To be honest with you, like it'd have to be jacks with like a diamond, tens with a diamond that just flat pre. Which I, I think is reasonable given the dynamics. Don't think he has like Queen Jack, Queen Ten King, Queen Ode. Maybe some Ace King offsuits, but not even sure about that. And it doesn't strike me as the type to slow play a hand just because it's the last hand of the night. Seems very comfortable. Been very deliberate with his table actions all night. Very aggressive. Oh, Alex going for the classic. Call that one the chance corneth. Right, yeah, he was trying to get a little bit of something out of Elliot. Reaching for that pile. Alex knows this is a flush, a boat, maybe quads, or it is one of those sorts of bluffing hands that you were pointing out. Could it be nines, tens, jacks with a diamond? It's the diamonds on board. Yeah, you really just have to hope Elliot has like sixes through jacks with a diamond in hand. is counterfeit two pair hasn't found the muck yet what a close by the way Brent I mean thank you poker gods thank you dealer for pinging this one off final hand of such an entertaining day of poker there has to be uh, some sort of like I, I, an ICM scenario here too where a call doesn't seem great if you're Alex in this spot, you have 2.3 million behind 400,000. It's a very large bet to call in this situation for. Just confirming with the dealer. That is 400. Does wow. make the call and he's going to get shown the boat. Elliot taking down a 1.3 million chip pot to end the night. Maybe even 18. Depends on the weather. Yeah, Jerry holding his own here. Yeah. He was worried. He came to the TV table. It's like, who's commentating? What if they don't like me? He said that? He said that. Oh, no, oh, Jerry. Yeah, We're like, big okay. Jerry fans. So like, what if they... Uh, hey. What if they say mean things about All right, me? On the fun Never. of me, the 1 through 10, what are you? <laughs> All right, he's passed already. Come on, Rod and Jerry might go golfing after this. Seems well, like it is for the next level, so. They're becoming buddies. 209 Sorry, left in the field. Wow. Every time I look up, it's dropped by way more than I expected. I was hoping for one <laughs> pop in, but that didn't go. <laughs> Trip nines here from Mark, who defended the big blind versus Jonathan's button open. Jonathan does flop, nut flush draw. OK, 
can go for a small bet here. He does go 25k. How's it going? Just a sneaky yeah, call from yeah. Mark. There's a turn card in the deck, and that is it right there. That the five of diamonds. That is it. <laughs> that just gets Mark all the chips. Number five on Ireland's all-time money list. Looking to move his way up the ranks. Wow. 190k in the middle. It's his bottom V big blind. Maybe the only saving grace, grace for Jonathan, but... I don't know, man. Uh, it's tough to get away from the nut flush. How did you know that card was coming on the turn? I didn't know it, but we all were thinking it. 255 five in the middle. Mark with the stone cold nuts. See what it comes with. A little 3x, 195, 200, something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, for, the, for the next level? It's yeah, it looks like 190. Jonathan's beating a ton of value here still. I'm there can be plenty of lower flushes <laughs> that Mark and might do this with. As well as some bluffs. <laughs> It's a very it's a serious topic. That's oh lord. It's a serious and uh, fun topic also. Okay. Jonathan Dockler. Uh, 300k in total it's live earnings. Uh, Best live cash. Did you ever wear the yellow vest? Just over 100k. You know, the yellow vest. I've got a funny feeling. Car, it's going to stay at 100k. It's going to be really difficult oh, no, to get away from this one, especially yeah. on that river. <laughs> the ball uh, double no, paired. <laughs> Would have maybe been able to get away from it. Mm -hmm. 570 in the middle. See if Mark goes for the jugular. Mm -hmm. Does announce all in and a snap call. Mark with the absolute nuts. Jonathan, nut flush no good. Going to bow out in 204th place. That's a painful one. That's got to be... I mean, you're so excited to see the jam when you have the nut flush. So many worse flushes. What a fooler. What about French? Connie still laughing after losing a sizable pot. Still over 100 bigs. Healthy, healthy stack. Halfway through the day here, day three, the WPT World Championship. Going to be heading into our third break of the day. 195 players remain. Came back with 399 today, so already lost half of the field. Everyone guaranteed 21,750. Oh, I swear to God, I forgot. What, what is what's I going on? I if I didn't say anything in, two, in that second. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a slow yeah, everything. Me too. Me too. I don't think Chris with a legit hand here. Yeah. Uh, we are moving. Oh, I was see. I said I yeah. said seventy five percent. I wasn't We're sure. Moving? It comes yeah, with two and a half almost? X with the ace queen. Yeah, the whole table. Taylor. Gonna go set mining. Okay. Told you, man. The topic was booing, bro. See you in the chat. <laughs> See you in the chat. Thank God. We got some TV time. Yeah. Peace out I, here. I didn't do anything. I pulled it. Peace for. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. You know, he keeps trying to get Thumbs people up. to subscribe and like. <laughs> Come back. I don't know when. He's, he's looking at the camera, no, telling you guys to thumbs up. I'll put it tomorrow. We come back. Gotta love it. Yeah. World Poker Tour Day 4. Biggest 10K in the history of World Poker Tour. It's not wrong. He's doing all the advertising for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His trademarked crazy game. Two hundred. Well, 
Don't hate this check raise from Taylor, to be honest with you. Yeah. Feels like a board that Chris is going to overstab with his rags. Mm -hmm. So Chris going nowhere with his ace queen. 555,000 in the middle. Hmm. Extra outs here for Taylor. He's going to have some flush draws in his check raising range. That would have gotten there on this turn. 250. 250. This is turning out to be a pretty big pot. 805 in the middle. Does get the call. One million in the middle. Yeah, it started out as a limped pot. Yeah. Five of diamonds on the river. Chris with the check mark next to his name, although big bet from Taylor might work. Yeah, I think it would have to be a jam, right? Last hand on stream. One million in the middle. And he does move wow. all in. What an absolute sick pup. Sick puppy. Taylor with the B150. Jams River for 1.5 million effective. This will be one of the biggest pots of the tournament if Chris finds the call. Yeah. Would be up to 4 million. Is looking oh very strong. No snap call from snap Taylor. He has me covered. You do, right? Does have you covered, mate. It, it looks so much like a flash. Or a boat. Check raise flop. Continued. 250 into 500 on the turn. Will he get it through? Holy shit, <laughs> Really putting his opponent nice in the blender four. here. Where do you I call. He does oh. make the call. Yeah, boy. Ace <laughs> Queen is good. Yeah, boy. Yeah, announced. boy. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. What a Let's hand. go, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, flex on him, Chris. Public House is the goat Mike the Mouse still. And let me tell you a story that I heard about Mike the Mouth Madiso today. Mm. So he's riding around in his little scooter. Yeah which can pick up some pace, some real speed, right. as Brad has ace-queen here. You know Drew Amato, World Poker Tour photographer. Yeah. Madison speeding by Drew's table, knocks over all of his equipment, oh. stops, looks at the equipment that he's knocked down, and then speeds off into oh, the distance. Oh, wow. Like, I heard a similar like story, Madison, actually. I believe yeah? he did this a couple times. Cause I heard from this week? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, from this week. I heard that he knocked over a media table. He ran over Soheb. Oh, and uh, so another table he knocked over, and I was wondering if he was driving a snowplow Beautiful. because it sounds like he's knocking everything over. Mike, come on, man. Adele with the Queen 10 suited, Peter the Queen 10 off. Is it like 425 or so? Yeah. <laughs> Queen, eight, deuce, mm. trouble, brewing for Adele. Does have a couple backdoor draws. It does. But with 195K in the pot, 445K behind. Yep. And here's the all in and the call. And here we go. It's Adele, the one all in and at risk with the Queen 10. Up against Brad Owens, East Queen. Owen in good shape, about a 4-1 to favorite. For now, just needs to dodge a 10. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw available for Adele. Mm -hmm. More than a milli in the middle. Turn card. It's the six of spades, a very safe turn for Brad Owen. 
Just, Just looking to dot to ten. Four on the river. That will do it for Adele. GG. Sir Adele. A noble fight. Battle with that short stack for a while, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Hung in there. Good spot to get it in. Sometimes you can get it in against some flush draws. Maybe some ace high. Just a cooler there, all Beautiful. things considered. The case queen rolling off on the flop as we take a look out. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Bases. Unless it can keep up the soccer talk. Yeah, I got you. I, I actually felt as though I was listening to another language <laughs> just then. <laughs> this guy's name is Kenny, too? Wow. I thought it was Kenny Howard. But then, oh, baby. Jean Claude. Oh, boy. Looks down at the Ace King on the button. They've got nearly the same stack. Gary loves to hear this. Yep. Sean Claude makes it 340K. Ooh. About 40 big steep is Gary. Big collision incoming. All of it. That'll clear Kenny out of the way. Just a nice uh, amount of posturing there, you know. Absolutely. Dis disguising the strength of his hand. Jean-Claude asks for a count. This will be very, very difficult to get away from, to say the least. Love hearing that when you have aces. We were just talking about aces versus ace-king. Yeah, we that were. Scenario has replicated mm. itself here. And it is trouble for Jean-Claude. No snap call, though. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. Does make the call, <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, thank you. I was going to say that's not right yet. This sorry, is, is 1.3 right here. You see a little, <laughs> little perspiration yeah. forming yeah. on yeah. the forehead. It's understandable. A big hand here. When you're all in and at risk for almost a 90 big blind pot with about 140 <laughs> players left at the WPT World Championship. Is there any hope for Jean-Claude? Yes, My there is. Goodness. As it comes 6 five, four, all diamonds. See Gary moaning. Turn card. It's the seven of clubs. Oh, chop outs chop available out. too. In the form of a three or an eight, that's not a diamond. Oh my. River card. The oh, eight of diamonds. Oh, wow. Good luck to you. John Claude wow. finds a way, and Gary Blackwood's day is done. What a run out. That's flash poker player. My grandfather was a womanizer. Okay. Stack 55 big. World class womanizer. Where you picked it up from? Oh, there it is. Nice. My dad wouldn't let me talk to girls until I was 21. Wow. Went to all boys high school. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at that, too. That's hard. I have nails. Like, oh, there we go. It's harder. It's exponentially harder to pick things up. That is true. I can vouch for that. Eight 
Kinda opening under the gun with the Queen Ten suited. Jean Claude in there with nines. Aaron in the big blind with the King Jack suited. Some playable hands here. Almost thirty bigs. Let the man think. Yeah. Tell me how Eighty five. I don't follow instructions. I have a million back. Thank you. King Jack seven, top two for Aaron. Kinda with the open ender and three to the Royal. Three to one SPR on this flop, Aaron with the effective stack. Kinda fires 130K, how to proceed if you're Aaron Massey. Also with that backdoor flush draw. Potentially considering a raise can get it in against Ace King, King Queen, even Aces we're beating. I put well my reasons I had I, when, what I listed was I was a Navy veteran, but I've also worked in the poker industry as part of the poker media. I've worked at different poker rooms, so I, I play the dailies around town two or three times a week. So, Beautiful. so thank you. Well, thank you. But yeah, he said he liked my passion for poker. Yeah. Doing some calculating, it seems. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I literally started screaming when I got the notification that he picked me. I was just like, oh my God. Yeah, it looks like he's going to bump it up. Yeah. Go from the Maybe something like 350. Three eighty. Don't I think Kaina's going to be going anywhere. Does have the open ended straight draw and backdoor flush draw with the clubs. A lot of good looking turn cards for Kaina. Mm -hmm. Aaron with just 625k behind. Already 825k in the pot, and there she, she goes. She just jams. Aaron, happy to make All the call. In snap call. And here we go. Of course, we see eight outs on our screen. We know Jean Claude folded two of those nines. So Aaron Massey in prime position to find the double. The turn is a queen. That'll add a couple more outs for Kaina, mm -hmm. who could find another queen on the river. Here is that river card. Four it's a blank. Hearts. Aaron Massey is up to 2.3 million in chips. Kind of still with 2.5 million behind. Better be less than a million or I'm going to call you a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. If you're in that Twitch chat, Ghost has yes. put up a clip of that East King versus Aces hand. Thank you for doing Where that. Where was their ice? This was a, Ghost oh, a very cold power beer. mod. Very cold oh, there was. Huh? Tun Sun asking what time coverage will start tomorrow. I believe it's the same time, 12.30 p.m. PST. You're making a mess over there. I'm trying not to, but <laughs> it's what I do. Four ways to this flop. King, King, wow, three. Lori Ann. In, not great for oh, Lori Oh, man. Ann. Yeah. Oh, man. As Kenny has flopped threes full. Oh, no, not like In this. Fact, major trouble brewing, perhaps, for her. Ay, Thankfully ay. for her, Kenny, with just 1.2 million behind. It's not like this hand is over. That's right. But it is a fantastic start for this man. What a flop. Four ways. He will check. Oh, the turn sneaky. is a deuce. Certainly. Oh. Oh, Lori with the check. Oh, whole levels of sneak here. We <laughs> might just see someone randomly stab at this, not knowing they're 
stabbing into a minefield. All right, checks through. I mean, what are we doing, Kenny? Here comes Kenny. Ninety. Ninety k. Small, small bet. Lori in trouble. Has severely underrepped her hand so far. I was thinking she could be considering a raise given that. Does go for the call. Uh. <laughs> Hold. Hold. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> and what are those cards on the screen now? Did we miss Hank in the small one? These are ten minutes, minutes, right? Yeah. In ten yeah. minutes, they call. Yeah, ten? Yeah. You didn't see it. Uh, oh, no, I caught a number of hands. Yeah. What are those yeah. cards? Uh, it's kind of small. Yeah. I'm hearing Conrad <laughs> laughing in the hallway. <laughs> you out? Oh yeah, you were already you out. He's still doing the bounty. Yeah. What's up, Frank? Yeah. Is your guy? Is your guy? Yeah. Guy's a farmer, he says. Rocket scientist farmer. What? Farmer rocket scientist. Oh, not sure what what Aaron might like be like considering it. here. I can't imagine you want to tango against two players here, Definitely and he does not, yeah. find the fold. He looks annoyed, but he little does he know he's against yeah, he's two very, very good hands. Ugh. Rivers a five. There has been a surprising amount of pot controlling by Lori here, though. <laughs> this could have been all in by the turn, or flop, really. How much does Kenny look for here? Maybe something like 400, 375. Lori has played this very trappy so far. The all in, the call. the call, have call, the showdown. She's surprised to see the snap call and the double yeah. up oh. for Kenny. Oh. Pain, Lori. Oh. Well, that was brutal. That was brutal yeah. indeed. Set up flop there. Yeah, absolute yeah. cooler. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Both played it trappy and oh, Lori, understandably yeah. surprised yeah. on the river there. Wow. Loses yeah. about half her stack. What, what a, a spot for, for Kenny. <laughs> what a flop for me. Yeah. What a flop for me. <laughs> a <laughs> Frenchman. <laughs> Finds threes full. Got Thomas 2.8 million in chips. <laughs> yep. That was theirs, yeah? Okay. That was theirs, yeah. Okay, okay. I almost just like collected it oh. so then I dropped it. Um, crazy. I had the, I had well, you're having fun because you like, you're like, all vibes. Guys, can you put your fun just as a fun? On the pop? Yeah. Yeah. It would have been. It would have been. Yeah. Because. WPT. Really? Asking who needs mods, I'm just going to verify Sorry, that is me saying <laughs> in the chat you can mod me. It's not an imposter. 
Yes, oh, you guys getting out of line in there. I'm supposed to be babysitting you. What happened? Yeah. Well, like my first hand. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know you folded it to me. So then <laughs> that other hand, I got out of line. I was like, I feel like I can get out of line one time. Uh -huh. That's my favorite thing to do, I just, to get out of line, you know? Like, know. Of course. It's your favorite thing to get out of line? Well, I mean, when you feel like it's the right thing to do, like, I mean, that guy, that was a right, like, that was a, that was a sick hand. We're, yes. We're still talking Very about sick. that other hand, right? It was the guest of my tournament. Is what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think he, I mean, if I was him, I'd probably. I guess I could have like, just called there, huh? I don't know. Did I just call there? I don't know. I just looked at it. No, I guess okay. I could have, yeah. It's one? Did I just call there? I have been modded, so you watch out. You there guys. we go. I gotta, we needed that. I got a wrench now, we you guys. That. You better watch out. 280. 280. This far along, nothing is a mistake. Yeah. Look at oh, the my. Look at this. Lori. Look it. at oh, this. Oh, Lori Ann out for revenge from Kenny. As Andy is opened here, Kenny three bets with the Kings, and Lori Ann has the aces. Lori Ann's not done yet. Especially after that last hand. Who knows, maybe she could be on <laughs> tilt jamming. Might just look like that to Kenny. The cold four. Ooh, the, the not all in cold four yeah. here. To 700K. Kenny with a glance at her stack. likes a nice bottle of wine. You have to wine. I like drugs. Nice bottle of wine. I'm hoping oh, Kenny doesn't look like at Lori's drink. face because she has a grin. <laughs> 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 and, and I knew if there were. wasn't a club, I would have folded. I so, you knew. Know. That's why I check races. China. There you go, Lori. The all in, the call, oh. and here we go. Well, Aces versus Kings right <laughs> after <laughs> Kenny <laughs> Cooler's Lori <laughs> with the threes <laughs> full versus her trip Press Kings. Couple There's things here. Andy folded a king. Also, yeah, Lorianne has yeah. the ace of hearts and ace of clubs, so she has the suits covered yep. as well. Yep. No four flushing for Kenny. More than 3.3 million in this pot. There's one king left in the deck. Yeah. It does not appear on the <laughs> flop. Yeah, I have the aces. <laughs> The turn brings another five. It's safe so far. Please don't do that. And the river is a deuce. Lori. Back in business. Lori and Persing are up to about 3.3 million in chips. Kenny enjoyed her chips for one hand. As if someone crunched it and said it's like 800K, 900K. Let's put it this way. If you have the average stack at the final table, You've got, I don't even know, probably over a $2 million stack. Yeah. There's a lot well, of money that, that's left final in the prize. Table of like yeah. Nine though, right? Yeah. Okay. And Andy has less than that. So, yeah, fair enough. I, <clears throat> I'm i not the best at these, but I will say that was probably a life changing amount of equity in that pot. Yeah. All in. All in. Well, Dan, sub 20, just going to rip in the ace queen. Oh, oh boy, we're off to the races. See if anyone wakes up with anything behind. Carlin, obviously, could get out of the way. He will be flipping. Either Dan is going to be going home very quickly after returning from dinner break. Came back as one of the tournament chip leads. Had a top ten stack. Kicking things off here in level five. Needs to find one of his six immediate outs, yeah, some clubs exactly. or some hearts. This yeah. could this could be one of the worst post dinner runs. Most most devastating. Looks pretty oh deflated God. and goes from six exactly. outs to fives to five outs rather. That is a very bad card for him. Barry and a Barry only to save Dan. No wow. dice. And we lose Dan Sepiel, who came to this table as chip leader less than an orbit ago. Came back from dinner break with a top 10 stack and is now heading to the cash desk to receive the payout. 
This is ridiculous. Yoni is I don't back. think I'm gonna be able to do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this every hand. I figure with such friends, I have to try hard to convince you, you know? Give, give, give one of your golds convince up. Convince me of what? Okay. Convince me of what? You know, that I'd like you to fold. <laughs> 425. Oh, big raise here. Yeah. Interesting. I got one gold from you. Benny with a hand that's not going anywhere, though, out of the big blind. Even against the larger size. And that could be troublesome for Benny. Jason has checked his checked his way back into finding perhaps some value. How is Benny going to handle this? Because the snap check back after raising that large looks a little funny. Could perhaps be something like 10s or king check? 10, queen 10. You would think if his opponent had something that was giving up like pocket 8s, he wouldn't check back that quickly. Allow himself to look so weak. So... Maybe a board where his opponent may not fold that much on the turn if he bets. really tricky now. If Benny had something like ace nine, he would likely bluff. When he has the ace x of spades, he's kind of blocking the sort of hand that he wanted his opponent to check back and call on the turn with. In before B200 on the river. That may be the thing that gets it done. I mean, we know it'll will likely get it done, but it's obviously terrifying to do that. Oh, here it is. Oof. He's going pot. That's a little bit more than pot, my friend. That's 2.3 million into 1.9. <clears throat> Benny with the execution. I take back that you don't play no one and hold him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a spot. Some friendly banter between Jason and Benny just moments ago. We see Benny, one of the best mixed game players in the world. Jason with the subtle okay, needle that back. is holding Getting it on. good. Wow. No, no, no. Please don't. God, don't do very it. Very nice. I'm very happy my partner, Gab, is at the table. <clears throat> Glad you're here because it was getting a little dry. That's my phone, my charger. There we wow, go. Benny cannot lose a pot. You can just put it in my bag. Even when I'm he finally makes the worst hand. I'm just charging if you want to just. He looks smug it. right now, doesn't he? <laughs> getting that one through, doesn't even table it. He really does. <laughs> little look over to oh, the rail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Benny Glaser. God damn, uh, Glaser's a good fold. We see you. Such a good fold, buddy. Ridiculous. God, you bluffed me. I would never. He's, he's not said such a true. good fold, he buddy. Me. Can I have a log of please? And a double. No wonder. <laughs> wow. 
He looks happy. What? What's your name? Where are you from? Spin up. Santiago, Spain. Santiago, Spain. Since Amigo. returning from Amigo, Amigo. dinner break, yeah. came Richard. back with eight million, up to twenty-six million. Has God almost ten percent of the chips Jason. in play with forty-eight left. I mean, he coolered. Houston, Texas. For now, another you player know. for like nine million, but since then he has chipped up an I mean, average Vinny, stat. Friends. Absolute clinic. Certainly exactly. the man to beat. Yeah. And certainly the one to watch. Hook, Scott Siever over on Twitter saying, nothing in the world makes more sense to me you, than really Isaac Kempton winning the WPT oh. main <laughs> event. Got a root for the legend. No, you can Shout know out that. to Scott Siever pulling for his boy <laughs> Isaac Kempton. Well, maybe Vinny did too. Isaac is a to top, <laughs> top tier. <laughs> top tier That was ridiculous. God, I must be being embarrassed on the television right now. I feel bad. Yeah. Benny yeah, not slowing down. Going to call from the small as Jason Flop's top pair. Very dangerous board for Jason here. Does not want to improve in some of the ways he thinks he wants to improve. Certainly not a hand that he wants to fold right now either. It's he's going to have a lot of equity when he's behind versus a lot of hands. And he's beating the other ace highs. Benny getting four and a half to one on the call. Gut shot will draw. Backdoor clubs is gonna peel one. Can you, yeah. Oh, well, look wow. at this, Jason turning trips. Unlikely to have any fives in his range. Backdoor hearts rolling off, Jason. Checking behind on the turn. Very quickly as well. I would certainly have given it a little thought there with the nut five. Not that it's likely your opponents can have a five, but it's not impossible. Right, one of each other. One of each other, set like that. One of each color. When is that ever a bluff? <laughs> this check back on the turn could get him paid off. It does look a little funky. Is under the gun, V plus one. Jason gonna have her hands as strong as ace queen suited in his flatting range, as well as sevens through nines. He does get looked up by the sixes. Five is good. Wow. Jason, after getting bluffed. I don't like you so much, I would try to slow roll you for sure, but I really like you. Nice to try back up. <laughs> The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Yeah. He also is the only athlete I've ever heard of who was 
overweight when he was an athlete and lost weight after he... It's interesting you say that. There are a lot of crit critters, we'll, we'll keep this short, from, from his generation that, that that happened to. There's Freddie Flintoff from England as well, who was extremely... Not extremely, but he was also overweight uh, at his like peak of his career and then lost weight afterwards. But you have to remember back in the days, you know, those guys were chugging beers on dinner break before going back out to, to bowl and whatnot, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, great, great guy. The good old days. The good old days as we uh, jump back into this. Nice Little blind v, uh, blind v blind sorry. Pocket pair v pocket pair. Violence, Yoni with the sevens, the Brendan the with the sixes. Oh, no, he's the big one. No, yeah, no. Oh, wrong. you were going to get in because of also yeah, you get it. loved okay. poker. I don't think I've used a time chip in my life. I only have two left. I don't know what happened. Benny was an interesting, interesting uh, decision here. He has the sort of hand that wouldn't wow. be the most unreasonable squeeze. Perfect timing. He decides to call, which is probably the most standard okay. choice. We having more fun? Yeah, I'm in the oh, middle. Come on, bro. We're gonna have fun. Eight, eight, three. You only just enjoying the show. The best of it. Get a massage. You're drinking. Life is good. Well, a good life. <laughs> Yoni has a really nice one to bet. Yoni, he wouldn't mind the protection, and it's likely good enough to go for value. This is really nice because Brendan is potentially going to fold out Benny's hand. The two overs, ten of hearts in hand. Mm -hmm. And Yoni going to check call with the sevens and be in great shape to win a pot against Brendan. Close to half pot. Table. I think yeah, of not only is he ahead look up to see against Brendan, but, but Brendan has the perfect type of hand for him to be ahead of where I, I Brendan's not, not going to try to bluff him out. Just thinks he has the best hand is, is headed to showdown. And I liked it better when it was the Prince, the, the first part of the speech table, just constantly raising it. Now I got to look at Benny. <laughs> yeah, he take over now. He has all the chips. Benny's got a I'll start stack. Again. I'll start again over later. If he lets me. One more level of play. After this one concludes going to be heading into our last break of the evening in around 15 minutes time less than that actually around 10 minutes that's, that's yeah you put way too many it's actually right oh i got i got oh you're just doing it really appreciate that hot fuzz okay. and i love the commentary it's literally a non-biased commentary we try, mate. We try. <laughs> wow, Brendan might get you only to fold it. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Flying. Seemingly inadvertently too. Yanni, from from what I've seen in past broadcasts, Yanni is sticky. So tough to play against recreationals deep in tournaments. This could very well be pocket nines, pocket tens. It's so frustrating, too, because you have to contend with a bet on the river, potentially. It really doesn't feel great. It's like, even if your hand's good, are you going to play the river profitably? Cards go into he the mark. Go. Wow. Yeah. He's not, he's, he's going to feel pretty bad when he sees what his opponent had to. Six nine offsuit in the small blind going to give him a walk and it turns out it's a good I walk. Four more spots, not for the he money. not jump, going to see the jump. flop in that poker against his opponent on 13 or so I'll big blinds with King Jack suited. Uh, or when do they stop? There's two like small events at Aria, two, Monday and Tuesday or whatever. Oh, okay. And then it start, it's on Wednesday or something, like the day after this. Beautiful. I'm like right on the cutoff right now, 21st, but I passed Lucky Chewy. So in 20th, 
uh, if I'm going to play super tight, the next four people. <laughs> so if you if you get the pay jump, you get the so to into the twenties. Then I'll move up to nineteenth. Yeah. Okay. Big. Nice. So is this, uh, is he talking about GPI or maybe the Poker Go series? Poker Go series. That's correct. That's ending that soon. That's that's a year you know I mean? year by year <laughs> thing. I think. <laughs> it's like, Ooh. Yeah, top 21, I want to say, qualify <laughs> into that free roll. It's like a... Ah, uh, okay. You, I want to say it's a million. What are you looking it's for? A million so the top 21. Uh, I'm so actually surprised that Daniel's so low. Wow. He's, He's won a few kind of high rollers oh, on different stops. He won a 300k. Yeah, a I assume the 300k. Fun idea. They'll only be probably 15, 14. Has some serious some impact. Europe, impact. Okay. Wow, right, Boston luck. Rob taking down a tournament. Yeah, the All-Stars program. Yeah, 21st of December, PGT Championship. Okay. Okay. New song. The guy says I always whistle the same one. I gotta come up with some new tunes. Drew middle pair, <coughs> backdoor clubs, backdoor straight draw, facing third pot C bet from Dean X. Naturally, not letting go of his middle pair turns two pair. That's gonna make him feel good about his hand. Daniel picks up a gut shot. How does he cool want to play this? What was that? It's a cool shoe. Oh, thank you. First time I saw that. <laughs> Okay, check. Yeah, he's gonna check back and realize his equity. <coughs> and well, it's gonna get himself in a spot of bother on this Queen of Spades River. Four liner to a straight. Let's see what size Drew comes with on this inevitable river probe. I think it's like going to wanna be small, yeah. yeah. Small sizing, somewhere in the B20 to B33 realm. Don't hate 300k. And he's going to hope that he does that. If he's, He would hope that he would do that. Nice. Nice call. Tag me. Well done. <laughs> Tag <clears throat> me in chat. I changed my mind. I'm not going to do it to you, but I was going to do dirty things. And now I'm just going to fold. But there I was going to go. Wow, nice million. fold. There we go, Daniel Negrano. Done, that was go. my top, idea. Top. I had a very easy fold if you raced. Yeah, see, I figured that. I might have had the best hand and folded. No, you didn't. Unless you had no. two pairs. No, nice fold. It's like let's cool, go, basically. Brad. It's cool, except pimping is actually something that's not cool. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you in Romanian after this. <laughs> You're fluent in Romanian? Yeah. Calvin. Oh, go on then. Little flat ski. Very nice. Very, very nice. Starting the hand off around 15 effective. Oh my god. No. I'm out. I'm done. What are you doing? I can't I can't watch this beautiful peel get punished. 11 hours into the day. Alberto opening the queen tray on the button. Calvin just defending off of 15 with the aces. And Alberto somehow found the queen jack tray flop. It's just so brutal. He's picked the right guy to do it against. Alberto's been quite aggressive. And it's just... Not really. I feel, I feel this one. I really do. Pretty good hand to check raise as well. One point nine million behind nine seven five in the middle. Comes for the three X. And I think if you're Alberto and you have a hand this strong at a stack, effective stacks that are this shallow, you really want to be just calling with this hand. Mm. If your opponent has the 8-10. Oh, 
or maybe the, I don't know, King 4 backdoor flush draw. SPR less than one going through the turn. Should a brick roll off? You want to keep him in. God, that is a brick, Jesse. Four of spades. Calvin about to be one card away from elimination. It's going to need an ace, jack, or four. Alberto likely to beat him to the pot should he announce himself, which we only assume he will. Does announce all in and a snap call from Alberto, the classic one chip flick in. Oh, yeah. I've got you, pal. Eight outs once for Calvin. And that is the correct face for this situation. King of spades on the river, the old double knuckle on the table. Late night casualty. What? The win has done a good job incorporating uh, those pre flop shot clocks and time chips. I think online it's absurd and ridiculous, but live in this tournament it's gone pretty smoothly, I think. Yeah, what about you? Especially given that there's no. Shot clock post flop. Right. People have been incredibly reasonable. How about this chip leader? And just calling here with aces. Open. And Krasimir has eights here with about 22 bigs. Michael just flatting against the under the gun open. So uh, really opening the door for a three bet squeeze behind. With a couple of squeezable stack sizes. Setting the trap perfectly. So with ICM, 22 bigs. Krasimir facing an under the gun open. Off of sub 20. Not going to be thrilled about getting it in. Nice fold, wow. sir. Nice Bravo. fold. ICM masterclass being displayed. I miss you, Sarah. Krasimir Yankov there. Frank going to defend the big. Ace, nine of hearts, so all the aces dead. King high, jack high flop would be a disaster for Soheb. Ten deuce three, the one diamond. A couple backdoor draws for Soheb. As we see, the aces are in a commanding position. Check. Nice. Finds the check with the ace of spades. Mm -hmm. And well... And allows the king to be delivered on the turn to Soheb. SPR of two. Soheb turning top pair. Check through on the flop. Zero reason to doubt. He has the best hand here. Fires 1.2 into 3 million. Forty percent pot. Michael just gonna call. Jeff SPR less than one. If a brick rolls off on the river, it could be showers for Soeb. That is as bricky as it gets. Ace Queen, Ace Jack, Queen Jack, all bricking. Five point four million in the pot. So have about five million behind. Michael putting on an absolute clinic at this feature table over the last couple of levels. Came in with less than 10 million, if I recall correctly. Had that ongoing battle back and forth between him and Alex. He's played the role of table captain perfectly. A huge bluff through with the ace deuce, and now puts Soeb all in on the river with everything bricking. And now it's Soheb's turn to glance at that outer table, see if anything's going on. He makes the call. He'll see the bad news. Michael Rocco up to 40.9 million. And with that elimination, Jeff, everyone gets that 50K ladder. Mm. Um, I believe it's Jason Gooch all in with the queen four up against Benny Glazer's ace eight. 
Blind versus blind. Jason needs some help here on the river and does not receive it. We say good game to Jason Gooch. Out in 13th place for $269,900. GG's. JG. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Meanwhile, at our outer table, two queens against two tens. Saddam Adler versus Bryce Yaki. Oh boy. Three spades on board. And that's the ten of spades in Adler's hand and the ace of spades on the turn. Bryce Yaki's day is done. Eliminated in absolutely brutal fashion. For $338,500. Our production crew has been absolutely terrific as well. Guys who you've been able to work with for a while now. I'm trying to think when I first met them. It's that regretful day, Jeff. <laughs> they probably thought, whew, get to go to Vegas. At least we don't have to deal with Henry anymore. Yeah. And you're like, guys, I'm coming with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those guys, they... Uh, Jet set a lifestyle for sure. Yeah. They're doing WPTs in Australia, events in Europe, Asia, see stateside. Oh boy. Oh boy indeed. Oh boy. 90k ladder. No messing around. In it goes. And JC just gets to click call. Flipping for seven. Figures in equity. Sean Claude with the jacks. Krasmir, the one all in and at risk. With the bubble. With the ace king of hearts. Classic flip. Ace king against jacks. 20 million chip pot. Nine deuce deuce. A safe flop for those jacks. Yeah, it's down to a 10 handed and the unofficial final table bubble. And a spades on the turn, Jeff, changes nothing. One card to come. And it's another 10. Krasimir Yankov's day is done. Out in 11th place for $338,500. Double tap on the table. GG's in the chat oh, nice. for the Bulgarian. The hand that got it done for him earlier on. The King Jack, if you recall, against the Ace Queen. Can he do it again? About 27 million in this pot. A clean flop for Benny of 9 6 deuce. Another 9 on the turn. River card. It is another 9. And Benny Glazer scores another KO, wins another pot, and we are down to our final 9. Someone call the police. The 999 run out for the Brit. Benny Glaser with over 100 million in chips. Good for over a third of the chips in play with nine left. One of the biggest stages in the poker world right now. Oh, yeah, the ace queen suited. Again, we'll just call here. Versus Benny's open. Yeah, Elliot really not incentivized to play aggressively. See some great adjustments being made by him. Currently third in chips. There are a couple of players at the table that have shown signs that they don't mind getting involved and playing big pots even with the short stacks at the table. So great adjustment 
from Elliot here. Would obviously be a disaster to go from third in chips to out in ninth. It's all about the payouts, chat. Dana says, y'all must be exhausted. Tell Henry I make excellent homemade mashed potatoes. Literally made 10 pounds the other day. Damn. That's a lot of mashed potatoes. What's that in kilos, Jeff? Uh, like three and a half or four? Uh, yeah. I think Is that close? I think it's close. Sweet. I'm the best. Getting leads, Elliot calls. And expect to see a give up from Benny unless he picks up some equity on the turn like this in the form of a gut shot. He's going to be well aware that the continuing range of Elliot can now be narrowed down by quite a bit. Plus one v plus two. Ace eight four rainbow. Dell's barrel expected to be a sizable one. There it is, 5.2 yeah, to 6.5. How'd you like your ace queen now, Elliot? The invitation of bowing out in ninth being extended by the chip leader, setting up a very natural river jam. Hey Elliot, you're comfortably in third, mate. Third gets over two million. Do you want to go home for 429k? It's the the question that Benny is asking. Elliot makes the call. 16.9 in the middle, Jeff. Big river spot coming if a spade rolls off. A wow! Oh my, the river's a jack. How has he found that? The river is a jack. The straight comes in for Benny Glazer with almost 17 million in the pot. Elliot with about 16 million behind. Continues on the ace, 8 4. Picks up equity on the nine of spades turn. Barrels big, as he should. Really apply. Max pressure on Elliot, starting the hand third in chips, and he just drills the four outer for the rivered straight. Moves all, all in. All of it. Elliot folds. Still going to have 27 bigs behind. Which, by the way, as things stand, worth a lot more. Than 429,000, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. It's really grim as well because uh. Benny is going to have a lot of bluffs here. And we've seen him opening the King 3. He's going to have a lot of single spade hands. King 10 with a spade. Probably wants to be blocking two pair. Like queen nine, queen of spades. You can obviously see he actually has the goods here. Let's see if Elliot can get away from this. Chat going absolutely wild, Jeff. Can't blame him here. Benny leads flop, leads turn. 
all of it on the river. And just one of the toughest spots imaginable for Elliot. He does find the fold. It's a good fold at that. And it's a nice pot once again, headed in the direction of Benny Glazer. I love how Berkey's just catching straight in the chat. Just <laughs> like consistent. somehow catching the crossfire here without being provoked in, or unprovoked rather. Joe says, the real question, what day is it? No idea, man. Hold on. Jeff's called it a day. Oh, Ooh, Frank. <laughs> Look down at the ace king. <laughs> His face says it all, man. Oh, dude. His face Makes the says call. It Here all. we go. 31 million chip pot. <laughs> It's Frank Fenaro all in and at risk if the Ace King holds. It's up to more than 30 bigs. $118,000 ladder between ninth and eighth. Frank currently kind of tied in there, in the middle of the pack. And well, Ace nine four, a clean flop for that Ace King. Benny's got to go run a runner in some form. Been there, done that. Not this Won't time. Won't do it here. Frankie boy up to over 30. Oh, going to go it. over and high five the rail. Let's go, boys. 3 a.m. Seven figure pot in equity. Love to see it. There's some five balls out there. Five, no. They know how much is up for grabs. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to mute the stream. <laughs> Good when time. Mute the stream. To look down at two kings if you're Michael Rocco, just limps in again. You have eight in total, right? I have 6.9 behind. 6.8. Benny gonna complete. Gonna see three. Michael with the trap, four million in the middle. I'm saying Rocco's limb game is tough. It has been an incredibly well balanced. I give him that. Yeah, absolutely. Sicko, do you believe there is? A break coming up as well. Just quickly glancing up at the clock. It's our man Elliot. Using up all of his pre-flop time banks before. Well, I can only assume him opting to check out the big. Check his option. Cole Henderson saying, limping is pimping. Where's d next when you need him? Four million in the middle. Ten high flop would be dream spot for Michael. Well, ace, queen, tray, bottom pair for Elliot. Players are standing up, going on break. Or maybe not. A three on the turn. As Elliot makes trips. Try it again, sneaky pre. About to get punished for it. 5.8 million back, 4 million in the middle. And it's turnt trips. 
probes for half pot. And a really grim spot for Michael now on this two-tone turn texture. Is going to call. Has about six million behind, I believe. Slight, sorry, yeah, our, slightly more than four million. Right, our graphics a little off, but it does look like what four and a half ish. Four clubs, backdoor flush draw completing. It's around fifty percent pot behind for Michael. It's going to be in the big blind. In just two hands time, going to be forced to put in over half of his stack as the blinds are going up to 1.2 million at the end of this hand. Elliot puts him in. Are we going to be coming back from break with nine players? Or are we finally going to have our first elimination at this final table. He does make the call, Jeff. And that will do it for Michael Rocco. Elliot is up to 29 million in chips. I said to you, it's either going out in ninth or he's gonna win the entire you tournament. Did. And I'll tell you what, he tried his best. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. It's Drew now the short stack with sixes. He's going to go with his. And it's Adam with ace king. Adam with the jam over the top. Drew's been ducking and diving all day. <laughs> Can he do it again? Little shrug towards the rail. I mean, there are empires built on edges smaller than this, Jeff. 55, 45. I'll take the sixes all day. We're still eight handed. Let's go. Well, king, king, nine on the flop. Could this be it? Just like that. Drew down to just two outs. Six does not come on the turn. He'll need it on the river to stay alive. Two outs once after hours of grinding it out. It's a jack. Good game, and we say good game. We say very good game to Drew O'Connell. Take a bow. Take a bow and take home $547,000. How about that? Drew O'Connell, ladies and gentlemen. Get some GGs in the chat. One of the sickest ICM spots of, well, I mean, everyone's career is absolutely insane. And Elliot has two kings in the big blind. Get on your feet, ladies and gentlemen. The collision course has been charted. Oh, he's just going to fly. Two massive hands go heads up to a flop. 10.6 million in the pot. Elliot with 14 million behind. How has it come, Ace? High? Ace on the flop. How has it come, Ace? High, and how are all the chips not in the middle? 10.6 million 
in the middle already. And Elliot with 14 behind. And I tell you what, if he avoids elimination Is he going to find a way out of this one? If he avoids elimination here, I don't even know anymore. Hour 17, just flats with the kings, and the flop has come A-site. The lead for 2 million. That's called by Elliot. This is how Brad Owen got eliminated way back the start of day five. Oh, and come on! <laughs> the king what? on the Seriously, turn! The case going? king on the turn! Elliot now with a 95% lock on the hand. 14.6 million in the middle. How is that the turn card dealer? How is this day five of the WPT World Championship? And how are we on a 300k ladder? Benny checking over to Elliot. His top two. I hope, I mean, I know this is being clipped, obviously, but this is just absolute insanity at this point. For the people watching the clip in the future, <laughs> just to let you guys know, we are 17 hours into the day. We've been at <laughs> this final table for seven hours, trying to get from nine to six. Benny Glazer has over 50% of the chips in play, and the other six players have less than 20 big blinds. Just to give you context of what's been going on for the past five hours. And now Elliot has found the case king on this turn card. I was going to say ace pops up on the river, I'm going home. But we're all going home if an ace pops up on the river. Elliot with the 15% turn barrel once being checked to. Welcome to the stream for those of you just joining <laughs> us. Elliot turning one out is for fun. Benny gonna just check call. 19.6 in the middle, SPR of 0.5 going to the river. River is the jack of clubs. Elliot going to be back up to second in chips. Dude, 20 big blinds. I must say, I've been incredibly impressed with Elliot. Completely agree. It's table presence, table demeanor, very deliberate. His actions. I double check the itinerary. 9.5 behind, Elliot. 19.6 in the middle. Benny's going to throw up <laughs> Benny at jams. I think he will. Looks like slightly north of 9.5, by the way. It looks like the non all in sizing. It's not all in. Leaving 
himself just a million chips back. And Benny makes the call. Yeah, and he'll see the bad news. Wow, wow is indeed. King Elliot. All right. I'll meet you halfway. I'll give you 100. Lucas jamming the button with the eight deuce off. This could be it. And JC as the ace queen suited rejams. Adam will be out of the way. Jeff, if the best and here we go. can hold. Lucas, who came into this final table of nine, second in chips, now finds himself five cards away from bowing out in seventh place. 297k ladder potential for everyone else as they watch wow. this one on the sidelines. Lucas standing up, got the backpack on already. Five to come. Anna. Six, six, deuce! One tap. What is going on, dealers? Seriously. Good time to use your one time. On I'll a televised it. final table bubble. There's ever a time to use it. 4.1 million up top. The turn brings another six, adds that one out. Lucas got the one time finger up in the air. With Emphasizing one the one time. River card is an eight. What just happened here? What just happened is a, that's a fantastic question. It's something we've asked ourselves throughout the course of this final table. <laughs> what just happened? The eight deuce. Never a doubt. I've ever seen, let alone play that. Benny can't Benny's, Benny's lost it. Benny's had his delirious. <laughs> Benny has just lost He's it. At, in actual oh, tears. The greatest. 18 hours into today, 6 a.m. inside the Encore Ballroom, 700k locked up, and we are still seven-handed. What an epic... I mean, this final table is going to go down in history. This final table going to go down in poker history. That much we know. WPT just, 20th what, uh, Anniversary huh? World Championship. <laughs> right to follow in the chat board, I guess. Yeah, I got the chips here. He does. This ignited love for the game, but I didn't know. And now it's Frank Fanaro getting the chips in with the Ace Five suited. That'll get through. I didn't have a deuce. Oh. I like this kid. We're finally feeling we're going to see a lot I more of him over the next like, few that years. That woke everybody up. <laughs> yeah. That woke them all up. Jorge saying Benny's reaction is 100% accurate. I mean, it is. We yeah. all feel it, right? The kind of delirious crying, laughing. He's been containing it for hours. As have we all, Jeff. Let's go. Benny is crying. <laughs> We're still, so we got seven players. I mean, laughter at the table. We're playing for 4.1. That was it, but here we go. We're playing for 4.1. On the next one. Colton in the small... That's fold equity, sub 10. Are you Benny? Are you <laughs> Benny gets a walk. <laughs> there goes Benny again. Lost it again, folks. <laughs> this is great. It no, is fantastic. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, for yeah. somebody who's usually so measured, so composed. For him to lose it just sums up this final table perfectly, does it not? Yeah, I mean, sleep is overrated, right? You guys want to do three-way flip? Just want to say, Listen, man. 18 hours in, Jeff. Wouldn't have it any other way. This has been just so entertaining. Lucas looks down at nines. 
Wow. This is the first stream we've done together, and it's this stream. Yeah, Luca's back oh, up to 17 yeah. bigs. Just going to jam from plus one. JC going to get out of the way. Uh, red. <laughs> <laughs> just the crying fold. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. It was dirty. I love JC. I love all of these guys. I mean, dude, at this point, what can you do? Elliot. 23. Six, I think. Looks down at ace queen. Right, how much is this for? 4, 15, 16, 17 bigs. I really don't know. I'm really not sure. I don't know, chat. I've got a 297k on the line. The <laughs> I, I don't Luke is jamming that. with Just FYI. three shorter stacks behind. And Elliot makes the call. And here we go, a massive flip. Can I call my one time again? Ace queen versus nines. Ace queen versus the nines. Nines is at risk. Yeah, off the back of just jamming that eight deuce. Lucas saying he's got better than eight deuce this time around. He does. Pocket nines against ace queen. 300k pay jump on the line. A spot at the televised final table on the line. And an ace on the flop. Lucas on the ropes. Elliot's friend behind him. Going insane. The turn is a deuce. Two outs. His friend is one card away from bagging second in chips and a seven-figure score. And our televised final table is set. Lucas Foster Again. out in seventh for $704,000. We have six poker millionaires. You're looking at them. We have six players right. so what do with I a shot to, to have their name inscribed on the WPT Mike Sexton Champions Cup. Well, how do you oh, yeah. like them apples, Jeff? From nine to six. I don't know six. what to say anymore. The final table has been set, and that is going to be one to study today. I tell you that much. Benny going to come as chip leader. Finish day four as chip leader. Some showdowns, and he's probably seen how light his opponent could be opening. I, I imagine that factored in, because I don't think that, that that flop peel is standard for Ben, especially on the bubble. So I think it, what you're talking about is exactly what, what, what happened there. Maybe. Larry is a Massachusetts native, or at least Massachusetts guy. Ooh, Ben picking up the aces. And so I have a, a very deep appreciation for Larry donning the Golden Knights hat while he's in town. Ben puts in a chunky three bet here. Oh, he's in the small blind. Okay, that's this makes a lot of sense. A little over three x the raise size. See if Larry bites back against the very competent Ben Yu. If anyone's going to have three bet bluffs from the small, it's going to be Ben and Larry with a hand that might just rifle it in here. Yeah, it wouldn't be, I, I I would imagine he calls, but it would certainly not be outside of the realm of things he's considering right now, right? I mean, yeah. I'm blocking some of the three-bit bluffs, like you, king-10, ace-10s, ace-4, ace-5s ace ace of the world, blocking some of the value, queens, jacks, ace-queen. Yeah, and when, when you're called, even against a hand like aces, you're never, you're never dead, right? It's a... Wow, hand. he yep. does come back over the top. Ben going to just quickly peek back down uh -huh. to make sure that he does have the aces. And he did not pick the right time. Perhaps a fine play against Ben in this exact spot in general, but this was... Yeah, you talked about variance earlier on. I mean, how about timing or ill timing mm -hmm. in poker? Comes back over the top and, well... Does flop a piece. Yeah. 
the Jack of Diamonds is no longer an out. But certainly a better flop than... Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh above average flop. Wow. And above average turn. Larry needs to fade an 8 for Ace or a Diamond. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yeah, there man. it is. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> heartbreaking when they give you that <laughs> level of hope. Right around. Mm, that's just clock is ticking down. He looks like it's on him, though. Yikes. On me. Yeah, okay, he didn't know. I mentally checked out, so that's pretty weak. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looked at the zone, though, didn't he? Wow, hey, you get to re replenish me in 30 minutes. That's yeah, not that that's bad. That's true. Oh, then you do? Oh. They retop up? Like, oh. Wow. Are top yeah, yeah. Losing a oh, few box. very valuable that's funny. time back there. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Wow, uh, around sweating the big blind pill with the two all-ins. So Saliba at risk. Yeah, I'm going to chop this a decent amount of time. I say a decent amount of time. Can I have a diamond? Yeah, it do so blood. 15% of the time. Mm -hmm. Put that in decent really territory. Good. You're fucked because he has 20. Territory. We're playing blackjack now, by the way. It deserves so the adjective 20. decent. 16 versus 20. That's not a good one for a chop. Pair the ball dealer for a sweat. Well, Saliba <laughs> drawing to three outs once for his tournament life. Will he be our first elimination of the day? He will indeed. Just double checking to make sure it's not a chop. You can see, it's like, Am I, is that a chop? No. <laughs> Nine does play. It was fun. GG's. Hey, nice Saliba got a funny feeling, Jesse. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of that young man on our screens over the next couple of years. And it's it's a tough life to you know to uh, try and explain to someone that's not in poker. Like, how do you say, "Yeah, I lost twenty thousand playing cards yesterday," and then like someone that doesn't play poker, it's true, can just accept that and be okay with that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that's uh that is an ongoing struggle for a lot of people in the poker world for sure. Yeah. I, I I was uh well Tobias. Wake up. how do you get queens on the button? Ten bigs, let's go. Mama Cetas. Here's a question. What do you do here? Do you know I don't hate limping. Limping's cool. I was thinking you could you could build a small min raise range. It looks like he's doing that. And you could include some hands that aren't quite good enough to jam but are on the Oh boy. Well we're cusp. gonna run this one. We are gonna run this one, Jesse. I would imagine so. Taylor's been very careful. It's not impossible that he thinks that this raise on the button looks real weird and he just calls, but I mean, the standard thing to do would be shove. Yep, does move in and a snap call from Tobias. Cards on their backs. Queens for Tobias. Ace Jack. Taylor is Tobias, the all-in player at risk. <laughs> Everyone else watching from the sideline, potentially about to ladder 24,000 should Taylor spike an ace. And he has. Wow. Ace, six, six. Wow. King of Hearts on the turn. Pretty sick turn card. Oh, what's, what is going on? Slow roll from the dealer. Like when he glitches. Right, the card, three of diamonds, does eventually roll off on the river. And Taylor not only scores a KO, but chips up. Kind of tied with Rampage second in chips now. Some GGs from the t players at the table as we lose the last non-America in the field. By a strike. Get some GGs in the chat. Rom finding a jam. Well, he's going to put in half of his stack, so but we all know what playing, that means. Uh, what, four out of 51? Or no, eight out of 51. Finds the shove. Combos. Not a moment too soon. So that works? Uh, I think that, so. that's a... Uh, no, no. He's, he's going to run suited. into Elijah's tents, but he will find a flip, combos. so... Yeah, I got 475 back. This is going to be a big swing for both players. 7% of hands or whatever.
Very big swing because all in. This is half of Elijah's stack as well, approximately. Good luck. I think you're probably not the worst player in the field, though. You're like really far down there, but yeah, I don't think the I, worst I don't think the I'm field. just worse. No. Yeah, congrats. This is fun. While this all in's going on, I'm two tabling chats. One is talking about best burgers in Vegas. One's talking about best steak. Wow, Jack Hardcastle, how are you? Welcome. Oof. Good game, man. Tough game. one for Good Ramen. Man. He Thanks. will go out in sixth place for $134,000. And he played quite well, just not not a lot of cards once he made it to the final table. He blinded down for the most part. He lost that flip to Tapar with the ace versus the ace queen. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Oh, shout out Big Keith. Shout out to all of you keeping both myself and Jesse company after nine hours of coverage to date. Few people in the chat asking who the commentators are. My name is Henry Kilbane, joined by Jesse Sylvia for this 25k coverage. Well, it's not just been today, we had the high stakes rail heaven cash games two nights in a row, featuring some. Well, hang on a minute, let's just jump back into this because we've got a little button v big blind confrontation going on rampage flopping top pair kevin with the open ender this could be a big part chat 825k in the middle rampage the effective stack there are certainly runouts yeah sure it could be really rough for rampage The six being a very bad card for him, something that he feels obligated to pay off. And I wonder if he finds a check raise here. If he's going to check raise any top pair hand, it's gonna be this one. This is the best kicker he's going to have in this situation. Um, since he probably Finds a re-raise of the queen a lot. Kevin obviously not going anywhere quite yet. He's got not just a straight draw, but a backdoor flush draw. Which adds a few percent. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. This is Potential tournament trajectory changing pot brewing here. 2.2 <laughs> million in the middle already. That was really well put. This is, regardless of what happens, this Ooh. is. Oh no. Jack of Hearts corner pocket Kevin with 100% lock on the turn. Check mark turn. It's really rare in life that you get the check mark on the on, turn. In Holden? Yeah. Behave. Can you have the check mark on the turn in PLO? I don't know if I've ever had the check mark. I don't even know if it's possible on the river, mate. <laughs> it really feels like that. I'm days. still sweating it, you know. Yeah. Like five cards. Jumping back into this. Is this going to be GG's for Rampage 2.2 out there? Rainbow completing turn card. And he knows. I mean, you can see it almost on his face. He knows this is one of the last cards he wants to see. Is that a slight smirk from... From Kevin, he's just like, yeah, go on then, mate. Go he on. finds the check. It's 
really nice. And I think Kevin doesn't come in with a massive size bet. I think something like a quarter or a third of pot makes a lot of sense. It also sets up a very easy shove on the river, not a, not a massive shove for the size of the pot on the river. So that's what I'd expect, something between six and seven hundred, uh, five and six hundred, five and seven hundred, I mean. 550, okay. Yeah, I feel like some of the, the check raise checks are going to include hands like Jack 9 that have now turned a pair, Jack 10 that have now turned a pair, so like the 9-6s, some of the gut shots of the world that just want to wave the white flag here. And Kevin setting up a very natural river SPR of, what, 0.8 should Rampage call. Yeah, and when you have a hand as strong as King Queen, you're you're not loving that turn card. You're, in fact, you're probably hating that turn card. But the price is so good, and the price almost looks like your opponent's trying to put in a little block bet and perhaps see showdown, right? Yeah. And you could beat a lot of the hands that are doing that. So you could beat basically every hand that's doing that. So. Oh, what? rampage! What? Rampage poker. What just happened? Naughty little fold on the turn there. Rampage is playing his face off today. Rampage really trying to convert that win. Check raise the king queen and just folds on the jack of hearts turn against, what was that, 25% on the turn? 20%? Yeah, uh, I think it was exactly 25. It is yeah. by an anti first, <laughs> I believe. So it's either this or just has to go with whatever the next hand is. Yeah, this is more than enough for sure. Is Kevin Hart still in? No, Kevin took sixth. <laughs> really unfortunate hand where he had quads. Quads, his opponent rivered the straight flush with the one card straight flush. So maybe Kevin could have gotten away from it, but. 60K ladder should Taylor or Kevin win this pot. Ben with 39% of the equity. Three ways. I'm sure he'll take that. Yeah. Five, seven, four. Taylor flopping best in the form of bottom pair. Not really what you want to see when you have queen eight suited. Well, five on the turn. Ben now drawing to four outs once. Kevin going to check the jack high. Is a dry side pot, but Taylor with a lot of hand here. Yeah, it does want to start trying to squeeze out some value. So cards on their backs. Ben Yu, the all-in player, at risk for his tournament life. Drawing to four outs. Needs to find a six on the river. Otherwise it is GG's. America's sweetheart. Deuce of diamonds. Good game, everyone. No dice. We lose Ben in fifth. Going to be going home with $168,750 for his efforts. Love to see the GGs and handshakes all round. Just out there, hand after hand. Definitely. Showing signs of fatigue at the table. Would love to see him just just pull through, keep on battling.
take out there. Rampage in the big. Going to run this. Yep. This one's going to be going in. He is going to run this. Kevin going to make the call. Yep. 100k ladder between fourth and third. Uh, that is three. As King nine. Taylor and Elijah just get to watch on from the sidelines for a wow. potential six-figure ladder. Five to come. Rampage looking to hold with the ace high. So far, so good on the 10 4 4. Queen That's, of Spades yeah, on fun. the turn. You call for a it's never easy. Goes from six outs that. twice to ten outs once. Kevin looking for a king, jack or nine to eliminate Rampage. It's always a sweat. Never easy, especially when you're playing for $894,000. They can't make it easy. This is where champions are made. And he sneaks away. Seven of spades on the river. Rampage with the double. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on a 15 minute break. What's better than playing poker? Playing poker on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Win a pass. Fourth and third. Landon Tice alongside myself, Henry Kilbane here in the commentary booth. We're tucked away. We're behind the, the main stage in a, well, I don't even want to call it a little what commentary booth. I mean, pretty big room, not going to lie. Yeah. Got space. We got space. We could do we could do some stretching in here. You want space? Do some yoga. Have you even tried yoga? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh my god. Do you know? <laughs> Literally lived in Thailand for the past what two years of my life. Ethan with the all in with the eight nine of diamonds from the button. Elijah ace queen off in oh, the small. Hello. It's gonna go in here, folks. All in. Elijah jamming over the top of the Rampage open jam. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. 60-40. Rampage wearing the luck box hoodie. Can he get lucky here with the 9-8 of diamonds to stay alive? Or are Elijah, Taylor, and Kevin going to ladder for 100,000 to get us three-handed? Let's find it's out. Oh. That, that is a big flop. <laughs> King, seven, six, two diamonds, open ender, flop. and a flush draw <laughs> for Rampage. Right. No, the shift in equities, even though he only has nine high. Any 10, nine, eight, five, or diamond <laughs> would do it. Wow, that was pretty good. You got them all. Three of diamonds on the turn. That's a sweaty one. A more it's not over. Diamond. It's not over. Let's have a very entertaining river. Let's, Let's have a very entertaining river. Elijah calling for the entertaining river. Wow. There's only seven of them. And page one card away from being back up to four and a half million. River is. Mm. Nice hand. The old Trey Trey run out. A two. Elijah yeah, down to just six big blinds now. Yeah. Rampage. Getting the crucial double up to 18 bigs. Ethan Yao, ladies and gentlemen. A max late registrant. Wasn't sure whether or not he was going to fire again. Classic. Here we are. Here we are. 24 hours later. <laughs> cool. not, not happy about it because knowing that most of the time you're going to be flipping, sometimes a little bit behind versus some pairs and... Sometimes you're going to be out of the deuces, do sixes, but most of the time you're going to see two over cards. You're going to have to spin the wheel. I'll spin the wheel he has. <laughs> you see the jack of clubs in the window. Jack, jack, six. One club on board. The old backdoor royal still available for Elijah. Let's get a fun, fun sweaty turn card. King of clubs. That's not it. That is not it. Elijah drawing to six outs once for his tournament life as Rampage and Taylor get to just 
sweat this one card 100k ladder, Ooh. which they secure. Playing, Kevin yeah, scores the elimination, and we lose Elijah Thank in fourth place, going home with $226,260 for his efforts. And then there were three. Taylor Power, Kevin Rabichow, Ethan Rampage Yao. 328K guaranteed for these final three players. Let's get some GGs in the chat. Double G in the chat. The way. Double G for Elijah. Just, just out there, just getting it done. Very patient, very quiet the entire time, just picking his spots. Sometimes it just doesn't come home, but doesn't mean you didn't play well. Couldn't hold the 60-40. Out in fourth. Great effort from him here. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of him in the 10K WPT World Championship main. Ethan with the jam for what looks like Ooh. 4 million. So like 7, 16 bigs. In it goes, one would assume. Kevin does make the call. Rampage in rough shape. Managed to convert the 9-8 of diamonds to go from four-handed to heads up in just two hands. If Kevin Rabichow can find the hold here to get us to heads up play. 328k locked up. Ace four. Against A's nine, a well of four in the window. That hoodie. That hoodie gonna sell out tomorrow, I got a funny feeling. It's a very sick design, honestly. Very minimalist. It's got the box around clean text. I'm a fan. Now finds himself just one card away from a huge double to be up to 7.9 million. Trips for dessert, just in case it wasn't enough to really rub salt into the wound. And there we have it. Back from not that many big blinds to a little bit more. Five cards away from being heads up with 50 big blinds. Get it in with the ace nine against ace four. Instead, your opponent Shipping a 7.9 million chip pot. Jack eight. Cozy check back. On. Oh assume. boy. Whoa. Taylor setting the trap with the ace nine. And this could get us two heads up. If Rampage can convert that 37%. We saw him get there with the, uh, with the eight nine suited against the ace queen of Elijah. Now needs to get there with the jack eight against the ace nine of Taylor to get us to heads up play. Taylor looking to hold and well. Whoa. How about an up flush draw? King, queen, seven. Some backdoor straight draw potential as well for Rampage. A club would leave him drawing dead and well, Jack of Diamonds on the turn, and all of a sudden, Taylor finds himself one card away from elimination. The good news is he does have 13 outs. And the river gives Rampage two pair, and just like that, we lose Taylor Powell in third place. Going to be going home with $328,000 for his efforts. Got it in good. Get some GGs in the chat for that, man. What a grind. Played very well. Has to be absolutely thrilled with his result here. Really did play well. Coming up short and chat. We are heads up. Uh, people don't say that about Kevin. 894,000 for first, 528,000 currently locked up. Career best score for Rampage. Kevin Rabichow with 2.4 million in total live earnings. Career best cash, 1.2 million. And uh, let's not forget the online prowess. 
where he's got definitely seven figures in caches for sure in the online arena. Seven. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Maybe eight. Yeah, I'd lean towards eight. Hasn't won a live tournament, by the way. Just saying. Couple of crossbars. Second in the 100k. Back in November of 2021. To Adamo. To I Adamo. remember that one, yeah. And second in Party Poker Millions back in 2019. He may be getting seconds, but he's number one in our hearts. Maybe getting seconds. Well, there's, there's a lot of uh, Rampage fans here. It's true. Kevin goes for the bet with the Jack Deuce. Once again, has three to a straight on both sides. Has a Jack of Hearts. Queen being good for his range as well. Overbet on the turn, 1.5 million into 1.25. Love a good no equity bluff. Action on Rampage, just made an incorrect hero call, but gonna stick around correctly this time. 4.2 million in the middle. Big pot poker. Very curious to see what Kevin does on bricks. Six of spades rolling off on the river. Does complete a couple of straights, but I think it's safe to eliminate 7-5 from Rampage. Rampage's range, and this is specifically 7-5 of hearts. And even that might play a check raise all in on the turn. So it's very unlikely that Ethan has a straight. Maybe some deuce five, but that's a little bit close too. Kevin gives up. Rampage back up to a three to one chip lead. Couple of legit hands here. Queen Jack suited for Kevin on the button, starting off the hand. 24 big blinds effective. Rampage with King Jack of Hearts in the big has Kevin out pipped by one. On. Plays all in. And just moves all in. Kevin gonna check the itinerary on this one. 24 bigs. Make off. He oh. does make the call wow. and has himself in rough shape as he gets shown the King Jack suited of Rampage. And he's going to have to pull a Rampage and get there from behind <laughs> to turn this ship around. Go from a three to one dog to a two to one chip leader. Don't say queen. Rampage, by the way, chat, was down to seven big blinds on the bubble. On the stone bubble was the shortest stack. Was nursing a seven big blind stack for the better part of two hours. Now finds himself two cards away from claiming victory here in the WPT 25K high roller. Ace of that, spades that's on a card. the turn. Yeah, that is a card. Yeah, like seven. Yeah, seven. Seven, one, seven, two. Let me just pay you. <laughs> Eight, nine, four for the win. One card to come. Dealer. Four oh. diamonds. That's it. That is it. We have ourselves a champion. Hi. Ethan Yao, a.k.a. Rampage That's Poker, a, a, closing a, things out here. <laughs> the WPT 25K high roller for a career best cash of 894.
$1,000. What's better than playing poker? Playing poker on a boat. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat. My problem. You're right, I, I need to learn how to fold. I too. hate folding. No, it's not. Easy. I hate folding too. Now we got. Now we got to take our anger out on this one. Like, right. Three hundred. <laughs> no tilted. Oh like, no, I'm so tilted. Yes, yes. Don't tilt. tilt. Lean into the tilt. Yeah. <laughs> a depth. You never know what can voice. happen. <laughs> Oh, and he's in it. There are no how good how poker players who don't hate folding. Like um, that is like true. It's a big part of the game. I really bad luck. Sticking around, oh, me too. catching some bluffs. I, I think I only mean. Oh damn. About half through here, just me. calling. Yeah, I mean, I only did it once. Eases. <laughs> Best hand yeah. in the game. Dog dog in what? there as well with the ten four yeah. of clubs. Mm, spicy flop. It's a straight draw and a flush draw. Classifies what we call a gut shot straight draw. So one card would help him. That'd be a ten. <laughs> yeah, I'm still starting. Um, I'm playing. The, <laughs> yeah. I'm playing the long game for <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thirteen hundred. And our couple could collide here. If he wants to sleep on the couch, <laughs> man. Oh. One second. I can't count. Let's double check that. Four clubs. Also with a gut shot straight draw. I actually uh -oh. did see a lady in the ladies' vent count on her hands, like okay. one time, and she then raise, and I was like, I hope you're bluffing. <laughs> oh. Good fold by Classify. Ace on the turn. Sir, a set of aces Ooh. for Hafu. Oh, I'm sorry. Classify's still in there. I think Dog Dog got out of the way with a really Dog nice Dog Dog was the game. one who folded. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to sleep uh, on the couch. He nope. said, Hafu, we'll let you have no. this one. He's still in there. Oh. Honestly, what am I doing? They're, they're gonna Nobody folded on the floor. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, he's like stressed about Literally. it. Like, it doesn't matter what they do. At least we know what they're doing. I just put in 13 from the hand before. Yeah. I'm not reacting. I mean, I can't even get to 3K. Okay. Would be for all of Dog Dog's but chips. No, you can't react. Are, you, are you guys lonely over know. there? Right. Yeah. Are you lonely? <laughs> <laughs> I might have to make this. <laughs> well, oh, Amon, how did your chess tournament go? The oh. one you were. I watched you when you were playing the guy who kept scratching okay. his face yeah. nonstop. Okay, so Amon was playing chess and his opponent yeah. was scratching his face oh. nonstop for hours. I don't know. Yeah. And that's all chat was talking about. Yourself? And it was really unfortunate because it's it's something that he couldn't control. It, yeah, it wasn't his fault, but it's also distracting. Yeah, it wow. was distracting. Yeah. Um, fold, fold, I did not want to. I did not want to. Wow. Oh my out. God! Why did I do that? I don't know how to play this game. Holy cow! That was so expensive. What's better than playing poker? Playing poker on a boat. I'm on a boat. Win a pass. I'm not upcoming. Yeah, so content creator for 100 Thieves. Raise, raise. I'm sorry. Find him on Twitch it. at Yasso, Y A S S U O, where he has yeah. about like, 2 million followers. Oh, that makes sense. If you don't do it immediately, you can just tell me, like, it's fine. As long as I know. Which is about 1.95 million more than we do. Yeah. The second half's a lot. We're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> like, intense, yeah, the yeah. first one was like, yeah. And then this one's like, We're oh. all slowing down a little. There's been some pretty exciting moments though already. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the highlight was still that time. I don't, I don't, like, what it, a highlight! It yeah. was a highlight. What a highlight! Be. It has to be. It wasn't a fun. No, highlight. it was. It was. It was. And the seven two. Yeah. I'm getting you. a lot of highlights. Yeah. A lot of clips. Yeah, you're literally like world starring us. That's true. All right, who's next? Eight. I I want to see an ace queen. A anyway. decent flop for Hafu. Yeah, flop, she has queens yeah. full yeah. of aces. Yeah. Wait, like in a one on one. Oh, David had it. I had a full house. Yeah. 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 That was one of her. Like, not like. Very board assisted, though. Yeah. yeah. It was all definitely board assisted. Yeah, but the full. Like, I called it. 600? Uh, I called it, but they were like. They didn't go to the end. Hafu could sneeze and 600 would fall off. <laughs> 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 her oh. excellent day will continue. Big Greyhounds. shoves. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. That's a crazy blow. Well, we'll I continue to bluff at this one. The timing's going to be a little off here. He's running right into the goods. 
stop. Your voice makes it really scary. That helps. <laughs> like, I, I, I wouldn't call that person. <laughs> Let me stop. 2000? Oh, man. Oh, great heavens. There we go. Okay, this is I'm bad you guys. Yeah, yeah. good like, job. Wow. Down the river. Imagine that was a 6,400 in the pot. I'm just down. Yeah, 10 would have been fun, but this is also fun. Mom, like 4, Mom pick me up. And he jams oh. all of it. Oh Hafu calls what? She's right away rushing. with the goods. That's all I no, that was about 4, yeah, And the biggest down. pot of the day yeah. goes to she Hafu, and her amazing so session so continues. Oh, oh my god. Wow. That was a, that was a full house off the I floor. know! You know Hafu doesn't oh. fold. Yeah, I know. Live on WPT's Twitch and YouTube channels, live on Botez, live on Twitch. Thank you all so much for being here. That one is actually pretty fun. So you put something in, in the like whatever is the first spot we do it, and then whoever wins it, at the end of a hand, you could see somebody's cards. And then if you do that, then they get it. They can use it. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. That's fine. Basically, you get to see people's hands occasionally. Okay. Yeah. Show me your hands. So you gotta put guys, the hat in. If you guys want to do that, good. If someone doesn't want to, then... I don't mind it. I don't mind. Yeah. No? It's raised. Okay. All right, I'm going to get some kind of chopstick. So, like, whoever chopstick. wins the first hand yeah. gets it? Is that it? I, don't I have, have a... I have a... I mean, I have a lip thing. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah. great. That's good. Great. Okay, let's... What if we do this? Ooh. What if, Do you guys cool. want to do a bomb pot after and then sure. put yeah. this in it? Sure. Yeah, okay. I like that, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll keep it for now, but... Thanks. I want to test this dude. Yeah. It's actually very fun. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, sorry, it's on me? Okay. Classify picking up right where he left off. I see his queens here. What a flop. <laughs> Those queens still wow. best. That's actually... You've all done yourself. <laughs> King queens are crying. It's so quiet without all of them here now. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's true. It actually so feels many lonely people without them. It's probably a lot quieter for, for them if we take a break as well. <laughs> uh, I don't think they can hear us because everyone's yeah, talking. Yeah, everyone's the in their own. Like, Want to play that? That's yeah. true. They got their headphones on as well. Is one more heart coming? Is there? Yeah. Is there? Oh, no. It, it might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to raise to 900. Alex with the check raised to 900 with the jack 3. Classify calls and calls quickly. And Alex turns another three. <laughs> Almost three thousand dollars in this pot. Yeah, that—that's scary. Alex with a little more than fifty-three hundred behind, as you see right by her name on the bottom left corner of your screen, and checks here. Classify quickly. Checks back. The river is the seven of diamonds. Seven Alex good. checks again and classified no. checks back the queens, saving himself a decent amount of money. I thought that trap was going to work perfectly. If you raise, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, so the flop is there. So the bomb pot has begun. It's a hundred dollars a person. He's oh god. And we have a bet here. He's ready to go without even seeing that. Yeah, another hundred? No, I'm not. <laughs> Her mind. Good, good bluff. It was, it was honest. So we'll catch up soon. It looks like. Okay. What queen nine three? Yep, and a seven on the turn. Not. <laughs> Mo, it's right. The chapstick. It's it is a chapstick. The chapstick. Well, back to her for a five k chip, but she's not getting it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Put his bracelet up instead. Yeah, it's true. Just the, the bling bling. Uh, 
Hafu, what restaurant recommendations do you have? The local, the local guy. On the strip? Mm -hmm. uh, on the strip or off? I remember last time we went to Sushi Sambo. Oh, yeah, the cards. Yeah, we love them. Oh, Classify with two I pair. Yamso with a better Kame? two pair. Oh, Kame. Kame. That's slightly off strip. Slightly off strip. It's so good. Experience that is like One of my favorite restaurants. 100? Do you need to what make a reservation? Yes. Yeah, it's, but you uh, need to be like... Like, we raise here from uh, oh because usually I just call Sinjin, and it's fine. But, okay. But you do have to. I think I'm if you don't you show, it, yeah. you pay for your meal. Okay. Because they only have two seatings a night. Oh Whoa. wow. Okay. An all in and a call. Chopstick work. And Yasa's in fantastic nice. shape. Queen. Queen. Oh. To win a pot worth more than ten thousand yeah. dollars. There's an out. Three. There's an app. Classify. I mean, I did it to Needs Alex. a three and only a three to win this one. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. We all saw. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm I said I was saying until seven. I'm, I might just be on now. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I do yeah, have this Hard to give up either. Like, if her card <laughs> is an eight. Yeah. That was, you, you got sucked out. Yep. My top stick. I played a little more patient. Yeah. Um, no, I, I don't think you could have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you, eventually you, we would have ended up where we ended up. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. I knew I lost. I didn't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> X-Rock says should have so slow played. There was a flush draw out there, so maybe she was trying to get some money in against hearts. I should check these. A nice family. Hey, family. Oh, I would have should have played that. Damn it. Family? Family yeah, question mark? Family too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just it comes, it comes to Hafu and, you know. <laughs> I just said, I don't know. Yeah, 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 really yeah, nice flop yeah. for Amon. It's on me. I'll Open try. ender and a flush draw. That. And an overcard with that eight. But it's five up. Five up's been pretty active. He gets in the mix a lot. He's got top pair. Mm. Whatever happened to family? Oh, oh rude. Family. And family means no one gets left behind. Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, Hanukkah so. means family. Wait, that's so sad. <laughs> oh. Well, you lost a few of us. Okay, Hafu, who do you want? Five up or one? I think I'm one. Okay, here. <coughs> I let you pick this time. Well, he checked. And. He's been re-raising. 350, pretty small bet. Five up can stick around, hoping that Amon has a hand just like he does. Seven. Okay, just kidding. But he check raises. Check raises real small. Amon's hand with okay. too much potential to ever fold. We My heart is in it. That was a big hand. And Bink. He makes the nut straight. Best card for his hand because five up can hope I that Amon had a flush this draw. <laughs> I lost three already. I need this Amon. That's <laughs> <laughs> extra pressure. Twenty-five dollars on you, Amon. How much is it? You have to count it yourself. Yeah. It looks like two, However five, many two, chips five up has is what he's gonna lose. My horse is not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even have here? I was praying I got in with the family, but like maybe I Maybe, maybe you're glad you didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we're happy we got out of that. Oh, I'm, I'm. Oh wait, I don't know. Yeah, if I'm I'm really lucky I'm not in, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five of seeing that he stepped in it. Yeah. <laughs> Any chapstick? Give him a chapstick. <laughs> Chapstickers? What you have? I had it. What'd you have? Six eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. I had a few That's draws. A nice, yeah. And the draw. Oh thank oh, God. You I had five seven on the floor. I had a few draws. Good hand. Yep, he just showed the power of a semi-bluff. 
He got her to fold. A so weak queen. It was so aggressive. Yeah. It so was a lot. Through. Yeah. Community. Sorry. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel. I'd yeah, I, I'm not sure. All ins a lot. Yeah, exactly. Well, things I don't think I can call. I think I just have to shove there because if I call and I don't see a spade, yeah, I'm invested in. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think it was. I mean, obviously, it was a good shove. Just fifty. <sighs> but I'd rather play more than do it on a flip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take a 25 back. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. No limpers. What the? What was that? <laughs> what, 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 was what was that? I was about to commit, and then I was like, nah. Pots are just up. Botez hoping to fill her inside straight draw. No luck. You wonder why the percentages look so odd right now and don't come close to um, equaling 100%. It's because king five and king three would be chopping right now if uh, the hand ended. So they take away that. They just show their percent chance of winning. Eight. That would mean if they hit either kicker five or three. It's okay. Raise 2,000. So you see after one king folds, they give all of that equity instead of the chop equity. So 86% to king five. Draco Infinity, are they playing the seven deuce game? They were, I don't I think they five. turned five it five. off. So it's a hundred bucks a player if you win a seven deuce off. I think you gotta fold that. Huh? I yeah. Think, yeah. I think you gotta fold that. I guess I shouldn't have bet in the first place. Because I get put in that spot a lot. Once the ace came, I was a lot less scared. I yeah, thought. exactly. Oh, I'm looking at five up. It's the worst feeling when you get stuck in a game and then the game starts to break. No it's not a pleasant here. feeling. Yeah, I don't like either. But luckily, the, sorry, did she say at the win hand? casino, break. their game is yeah. all over Happens. the place. You can go yeah. play in a different game as soon and as then this one breaks. If they're leaving, we can figure it out during the break. And either we'll be back or. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm down the way for him. Can yeah. see when it's his bet. Bo? Oh, Flaming Gods is five up, more like ten play. down. Yes, Kappa. Best position. Yeah, we don't want you to lose that. 125? I thought well, it's oh, one. It's one. Come on. Last hand before the break, you know. <laughs> Last hand before the break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wins this, I definitely got an extra hundred for you at Alexander right there. Honestly, Intermediate you did. players <laughs> trying to get better. That's a but tougher hey, question. Let's see what that flop is. There's a lot of videos you could watch that'll make your game a lot better. Flop, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I prefer watching videos by really good instructors, good pros. Once you already have an idea of the game and you're there down to study. And there's a lot. You could you could Google it. There's tons of sites I don't really want to like send you guys to one over another. But we do have Learn WPT <laughs> and a couple. And my favorite instructor is Chewy. He helps Alex Botez in a bunch of streams. Chewy is like the coolest person, possibly an alien. Um, but you would really enjoy his stream. So maybe you can even look up Alex Botez's old streams if she's got VODs up. Another four. Eight four. Wow. 900? Yeah, an eight four. We like those. So oh, I feel so bad for five up. So you, you get in spots like this. He goes all in. He's trying to take something before you leave. Oof. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, if she lets us go. She's got just top pair, not a great kicker. 
How much is it? If she recognizes the situation, that five up is pretty tilted. Man, it's like three thousand. Huh? <laughs> That's you what could, the chapstick is for. You can for. pay me to chapstick. That's only like fifty bucks. <laughs> Seventy-five bucks. I don't know. Bold and a hundred dollars off chapstick. Oh, this guy's more expensive than classy. I got <laughs> <laughs> seventy-five, right? Okay. I'm on. Chat is going gone crazy. Into the night, you know? <laughs> Value's gone up. How much is it? So I have to pay another two thousand to see it. Yep. Or another one hundred. <laughs> Very smart. Don't show it yet because there's one more card, just in case. <laughs> yeah, but he's all in. So he's all in. Doesn't Sorry. Matter. Yeah. I, can I have a little bit? Nice yeah, take your time. Timer. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you get? Is there like a bank uh, or something? I mean, We're doing 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds. Wait. No, 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 you take no, no, the time. No, 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 you're you're saying they were. Big yeah, event. usually the, the way it works is someone calls the floor and says this guy's taking a lot of time. They call the clock. Oh, wow. The floor person will give you an additional one minute and then you can yeah, make yeah, a decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the bigger decision. You, you have like time cards you can use? I don't think you have a four. Fine. I'll take it. <gasps> oh. okay, nice right, call by Hafu. I want Ooh. to He does not have a four. Five, three. Is a five? Oh. Yeah, she's a ten. Oh. Yeah. So you have an I out. I see his two little outs there. He's going to need to catch a five Ooh. or it's going to be a I big loss a for a five. Yeah, it's only a five, yeah. He just needs a five up, guys. Why are you calm? Because I don't think you have a four. And I think I'm winning. Nope. Yeah. Nice hand. I, I, I don't think you have a four there. Good hand. Good nice hand. Nice hand. Yeah. I got her in. I mean, you you got me the other hand. Um. Okay. They told us we're taking a break at this hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we could table well, here. What for time your... is it? Because if it's not time, it's seven twenty. What's better than playing poker? Playing poker on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Win a passport. Cool. Yep. Family, please. Oh, I thought we were going to have Jeez family Louise. pot, but Bota says nope. Hafu with the real hand as well, though, is going to come along. Raising family pots is kind of fun. Ooh, dog dog. Deep enough to set mine with his threes. Getting rid of those green chips. Although the true family is calling it real quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, coming along. I bet Yasu comes along, too, even all with right, a crappy hand. Pot. Yep. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's here to play poker. Yep. It's a family bomb pot. I have seven deuce. The two seven rolls off, right? Because she no, claimed the bounty. Now it's on. No. It's still on. Oh, okay, okay. I asked that like three hours. Ago. Oh, I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh. sure. Sorry. Ten, ten, ten. <laughs> I <Nice. coughed. laughs> board for sure. Botez, who has a there. boat right oh. now. It still vulnerable there. though to Hafu <laughs> catching oh an ace or a jack <laughs> or a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Another ten would make ace bet, high the uh, best hand. Is this three hundred? These are three hundred stacks. Fuck, I can't count. Three hundred, so that's six hundred. Six hundred. I'll bet six hundred. And dog right, dog. Mr. Pocket. <sighs> Thinking his pocket threes are best. Bets out six hundred. Six hundred. Am I that predictable? I got pocket tens. I'm chilling. <laughs> Somebody check that deck. So you have a 10. Hand is so good, you can't even consider folding it right now. There's no real reason to put no, more than know. just the call in, though. You gotta put the 600 in. Nobody would lead a 10. He can't have the 10. I folded the 10. We're the fun side of the table. I'm sorry. I feel like you're kind of left out, but it's because it's really awkward. It's really far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. can scooch over. Don't worry. I'm okay. I don't know if that would help us. I don't know if we're allowed to. I, I, don't, I don't know poker rules. Oh, yeah, 
What do you put me on? <laughs> oh no, Botez! Get those eights back. It's in the family. That's a it's crazy tight fold. Oh, God, you're such a dick. If somebody has quads, they Isn't just wouldn't lead out most hand. of the time. I have a good hand. I have a great hand. They would wait for someone else to catch up, you try to get them to catch a pair. Oh baby, <laughs> Hafu! Hafu is running so hot <laughs> against her husband. Your pockets aren't looking so good now, are they? <laughs> Oh, she has saved herself so this? money folding her eights <laughs> after all. David. I promise I'm only like this with him. <laughs> I want you to see you. Yeah, we haven't been bullied here by you at all. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't Hi. Um, are you oh, guys I, getting anything? I was gonna, I was gonna get a drink. Maybe start with him. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. <sighs> I gotta call him. Um, are we covering each other's lungs? Yeah, I guess so. There you go. <laughs> I'll have a tequila soda. Dang, Dog Dog calls his yeah, wife's 2K I bet. Mean, Drawing dead. See uh, that? That's 0%. Water. And if you see what 98% next to Hapu, uh, it would be a chop if another 10 came, because each player would have quad 10s with an ace kicker. But that didn't happen. And Hapu wins a huge pot. $3,000. She's gonna win a huge pot. Is Dog Dog really gonna give his wow. wife an extra 3K right now? Yeah, what do you have? He called? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, he folded, he oh. just wanted to see it. Okay. Fuck, that A screwed oh. me so hard, god damn. Yeah, I'm trying to I, scare everyone off. I, I, I was scared of like people, I had pocket eights, and oh, I was yeah. like, well, higher. if everyone plays, higher cards come, I'm just getting fucked.